the lotion on its skin or else it gets the hose again. What the fuck is lotion in the bag? <laughs> in the bag. There's always one clip that gets us going. Good morning, it's the Opie and Anthony program. In the bag. In the bag. He just loses it. Guys, yeah, great. Ah, uh, how's everybody this morning? Hi. Well, you got to be good because it's Friday. Want to say hi to everyone stuck in traffic in Houston. I forgot we talked to uh, those people. Yes, we did. Are you evacuating? Mm-hmm. They're promoting XM all over the place on Fox. Yeah, telling the people in their cars, you know, that they got the best updates for them, for them and stuff. Yeah, you can listen to the Fox News. I do that. I was listening to... um. Our local uh, New York news station for quite some time driving in. And then I just gave it a try. And and the reason I really wasn't listening to Fox or CNN on XM driving in was because I had no clue what channel it was on. And as I'm driving, uh, what am I going to do? Scan? Hit category. Category? Yeah, and then it'll give you all the news stations, and then it'll be a lot easier at that I point. I didn't know where that was either. Uh, but finally I figured it out. Yeah. And uh, preset it. And now I find myself just going between Fox and... Uh, and local? And, no, Fox and CNN. Wow. I, 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 I check out the traffic at home uh, before I leave, and then uh, I'm done. I'm gone. I'm done with the news. And that was like my last terrestrial radio station, 1010 Winds here in New York, that I was really listening to. Now, goodbye. That's it. No more. You don't just listen to music on the way in? No, I listen and to whatever. the news. <laughs> Prominent instruments being played, you don't fantasize that you're the one playing it <laughs> in front of your high school, in front of all those girls who shot you down. That's what not, I do. Not driving in, no. Maybe I save that for the weekends. That's what I do. <laughs> that's, that's what Bill does. Yeah. There is. What, like the guitar? Oh, um, like, yeah. What, whatever, me, yeah, whatever's going on. I'm Steve Ray Vaughan one second, then when the drum rolls, then I'll. Then, then you're sudden, the drummer? Yeah, yeah I'm bottom. Chris, yeah. The next song. I would always <laughs> fantasize about being the, the lead singer, though. Even when even when the drum's going off or the guitar or something, you guys still stand there rocking, holding the mic up, shaking your head. <laughs> it's pathetic. <laughs> Isn't that the saddest thing? A lot of singers are just like, what do I do now? I've got this long guitar solo to do. What do I do? I I'll, I'll hold the mic. I'll, I'll put it down by my hip. I'll raise one hand. I'll put my head down and shake it back and forth. You pick up that little egg with the beads in it. You just start shaking it. All those Davy Jones instruments like maracas. <laughs> Davy Jones. It'd be great. You just slip on some castanets on your fingers. <laughs> Plays the pan flute. You should sit down and just read a newspaper or something. Yeah, you're out of it. That would be hilarious. Why distract? That's the move. Do something like completely out of the ordinary. Yeah. You know, maybe sit have back. a coffee machine off to the side and brew yourself. Grab a cup, a cup of coffee. You know, do something. <laughs> Make some toast. XM247, by the way, if you want uh, around-the-clock hurricane coverage. Is that it? Uh, hurricane Rita slowly but surely making its way to somewhere. Holy crap. They really don't have much of a clue exactly where it's going to hit. I had no idea these hurricanes moved so slow until this one. You could outrun it. The Katrina was like, all right, all right, you know what I mean? But this one, we, we, we've been following this so early. Mm-hmm. We started following this on Monday, I think, right? It's now Friday, and it's still uh, about 300 miles offshore. It's moving like 9 to 12 miles an hour. There yeah, were to a couple of uh, what they call the high-pressure systems, those big H's on the map, and that's holding it back. And now it's uh, it, uh, one of those was supposed to protect uh, New Orleans and the coast of Louisiana, and this thing was supposed to just slam into Texas. But now one of those highs kind of moved, and uh, now the, the hurricane can get up in there. And uh, it looks like it's getting a little little closer to New Orleans than they would have liked. Oops. Nine Oop. to ten, mile, oh, ten miles an hour. All you need is like a, like a bicycle and an ATM card. And, and you're, cool. you're done. Yeah. You could completely outrun it. You don't Maybe have to. You don't need a fast there. car or something. Yeah. Well, you could get further than those cars. Yeah, the traffic was just... I don't know how people sit in it. What are they saying? Uh, to go 40 miles, it's taking 10 to 15 hours. Hours to go 40 miles. And they're running out of gas all over the place. It looked like uh, that scene from Independence Day. Everyone going one way. One way on the street, on the uh, highway, and then the other side completely open. Except for the dopes in this case that are going the other way. There's, every once in a while, there's a car going the other way. Where are they going? That's that's the story. Did I leave the stove on? That's what the reporter should be doing, is stopping those cars and going, where the fuck are you going? <laughs> there's over a million people going that way, and you're going this way. Why? Going to loot. I guess uh, you got to assume... <laughs> 
I guess you got to assume it's the people that just gave up on being in traffic and said, fuck Turned it. Turned around, hooked that Yui, and said, you know something? Well, fuck it. Well, Ryan why else? Now. That would be the time to loot, though. Yeah. Yeah, before everything's all water damaged. Yeah, now you're getting great goods. No one's there. Nice and dry. Yeah. Yeah, but then you're stuck in traffic. What to do is to go up the other side of the highway and just start backing up. Backing up so you're yeah. facing the right direction. And just have a look on your face like you just missed your exit for like, <laughs> for like 150 <laughs> miles. <laughs> you gotta hold that look. Yeah. <laughs> That's pretty tough, man. <laughs> when the cop comes and pulls you over, you're tough. I yeah. was getting off right there. That this traffic's unbelievable. I, mean, <laughs> I got mesmerized. Can you by believe it? it? Sitting really in that for funny. hours. That's really funny. I guess some people just decided to just drive uh, into oncoming traffic. Yeah, they said they just got it. on the other side. And said, you know what? I'm making my own path here. Started driving. Did they? Did they finally close off the other side so they could get everyone? You yeah. Know, now going one way. Yeah, people were using the uh, other uh, lanes of traffic to go in the same direction to get out of there. But, uh, but, man, what would your car engine be like after 100 miles in reverse? <laughs> <laughs> you could do like 10 miles an hour and your engine's tacking out. <laughs> you can get it up there. I saw this guy on uh, Cops, one of yeah. the classic uh, clips. This guy's doing like 50 miles an hour. And even the dude in the helicopter's going, this guy's really demonstrating some some skill behind the wheel. Because you literally just go a little bit to either side, that's it. Yeah. Yeah, now when you put your steering in the back of your uh, vehicle like that, yeah, that's a problem. Yeah. <laughs> uh, I got to go to the phone. Wes, uh, I've been starting to hear more and more about this in uh, the last few days. Go ahead, Wes. Hey, Wes. Uh-oh. Wes? Oh. Yeah. One more try. Go ahead, Wes. Hey, sorry about that. How you guys oh, doing this morning? All right, what do you What's have? Up? Hey, you know what? I, I, I wanted to get through to you guys. Uh, I just want to tell you something real quick here. Uh, the, the, your, your show is absolutely uh, amazing. I, oh. I I got I got the XM satellite because I thought I was going to see Don Imus in the morning on MSNBC, but they don't run his uh, program. Yeah. And so I, I found you know yeah, that's you weird. Know, by the way, XM has MSNBC. But they don't yeah, run they, Imus in the morning. Yeah, because of uh, infinity, I guess. All right, go ahead, yeah, Wes. I mean, that, that, that's the only reason why I got it. But I found you guys, and man, I can't, I can't get enough of you. I listen to your re repeats and all that shit. But anyway, I, 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 uh, you guys probably don't. Uh, oh my God! Didn't you say you were gonna make it quick? Yeah, real quick. <laughs> I'm gonna get to this real quick. Uh, Let me get to this real guys, quick. Uh, here, we here, here we go. Here we go. Here we go. All right, Wes. Here we go. Coast to coast with George Nori. I was listening to that last night. I, I drive a truck, and uh, oh boy, I bought it in 1972. <laughs> That's a Peter Bill. Apparently, apparently, you know, oh Richard Hoagland is saying that oh uh, stop it. The, the government is uh, controlling these hurricanes. The government is controlling the hurricanes, is what they you were to, getting they at. To, they, they have, they have some. By the way, we're two minutes into this call. That's yeah. all he had to say, and then we could went off on a nice little five minutes. The government's <laughs> creating the hurricane. You, guys, you know, you guys kick ass. Have a good day. Uh, Thank right. you, uh, you, Wes. You really think uh, the government is uh, creating these hurricanes? Do they have the power to do that? Because it would be really smart to to make sure a hurricane hits the Gulf of Mexico. Yeah, why would you then have the Taking government... Taking out half our oil. Wouldn't you have it hitting places that we don't like? Right. Something like that? Right. I don't know. Why would the government make hurricanes to hit us? Well, hit the oil fields is what I'm thinking, and the you know the uh, the the whatever they're called out there it's in the ocean. Conspiracy, man. There's too many people. That's what it is. You're they're me. trying to wipe out people. Okay, I thought it was more of an oil thing. I don't understand how uh, it helps the United States oil companies to um, to ruin their refineries and stuff. I don't get that. I don't either. get that either. They're not ruined, man. Oh, is that it? Th there's not even oil. Rigs off the coast as well. <laughs> <laughs> Just trying to make some cardboard cutouts. Yeah. <laughs> strategically placed. <laughs> yeah, I don't understand. Boy, people just come up with conspiracies for everything. And gas is going to be way over $5 a gallon, by the way. Oh, is that the uh, I'm the new price? I don't think it's going to be way over 5 We'll see Monday and Tuesday. <laughs> I heard some guys say that. that uh, I don't think that people have too much shit. Is that what it is? Yeah. It, but that, that shouldn't cripple you. People like having a lot of shit. Well, they shouldn't. I got nothing. They, 
sit here like I'm an economist. <laughs> <laughs> All right, we can move on to some other things. Well, we're watching uh, Hurricane Rita. It's moving. It's, what, 290 miles from the coast at this point. I went to bed. It was 334 miles from the coast. I slept all that time. It's like it's it moved. It's, it's moved 40-something. That's it? 50 miles, maybe, moving overnight? very it's like, slowly. It's, it's like Holy Jason. Holy shit. On Friday 13th, people <laughs> running away, and it's, he's just walking through the woods with yeah. that machete. Eventually, it gets you. And you just can't get away from him. <laughs> you can't do it. He's never run. He has never run a lick, but you just can't get away from That's him. That's hilarious. Something spinning like that, but moving so slow. It's like Tasmanian devil. Yeah, <laughs> in one spot. Yeah. He just stroll down the street. It's screaming really loud, but, from it. but uh, yeah, moving at nine miles an hour. Has anyone get caught by something that moves so slow? I just don't get it. It's you like could have one of those scooters. Yeah. A razor? A moped? Oh, you're talking a razor rollerboard yeah. scooter? <laughs> it's like the scene from Austin from Powers. Yeah, where the guy's getting run over by the uh, steamroller, was it? The steamroller. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and he just forever. He doesn't ah! have to get out of the way. That's yeah. this hurricane. <laughs> All right, I got to uh, I gotta bring some to the, something to the show. Uh, half the people will hate me and half the people will love me. That's that's what I'm thinking. So you're saying this. this will be no change in uh, how the public feels about you uh, or correct. anyone else on this fucking Absolutely, program. Absolutely, Anthony. But I'm brave enough to bring this to to people's attention and get yelled at and all that and get the hate mail and blah, blah, blah. Right. Um, I was uh, taking a subway down to Paisano of Mulberry Street in the heart of Little Italy. Ah, and I checking up, out the date. And I ended up eating at Paisano's uh, with Lindsay. We had a great time. It was the San Gennaro Feast. And mm -hmm. I, but I, I went down there to check out, in on uh, Big A and Starker Patty's date last Horse. night. We have audio from the date and all that. Can't wait get to hear to. it. Uh, and they're coming in to talk about their date last night. Right. So uh, for some reason, yesterday I was on edge. And I'm walking down the sidewalk in my neighborhood going to the subway. And there's a nanny pushing a stroller behind me. Mm -hmm. Okay, and the kid was screaming bloody murder, bloody murder. And the little uh, and the I'm little not going to exaggerate here. I'm telling you how it is. How old was the kid? And you could either say? call me out and say I'm a douche, or you could say I'm I'm your hero today. How old was the kid about? Um, mm, a year maybe. Yeah, maybe a little less. <laughs> somewhere somewhere between like ten months and like fourteen months. Let's yeah. call it okay. Screaming bloody murder. I turned around once to see that the kid was screaming bloody murder for no reason, just because he can't. Yeah. That's key to the story. There was no feeling sorry for the kid like there was some problem going on, okay? Yeah. Like didn't he was hungry. Boo, didn't have a boo-boo. Screaming, going right through me. <laughs> going right through me. Maybe five feet behind me. Yeah. Okay? The hatred of kids just came out right there. Oh. So, stand them. I'm looking around and everyone else around me is annoyed. They're just annoyed because the kid is screaming bloody murder. Is this on our, just a public sidewalk? Yeah. Yeah. Not even under an awning somewhere. No, or we're just anything. You're talking public. You can just walk out, walk like the hurricane, the, <laughs> yes. the stroller, and the baby. I don't think well. the nanny was cranking that stroller up to like twenty. <laughs> just running behind him, the kid, <laughs> keeping, keeping, <laughs> keeping him right on your heels. <laughs> <laughs> Close enough, though. And I turned around once to see what what's the problem. You have to look, and there was mm -hmm. no problem. The kid was just screaming. But I gave the nanny a look like, <laughs> "Hello." Yeah. <laughs> you know that type of look like, uh, you know, I'm a little bothered here. And everyone else was. There was a mass of people walking down the sidewalk. Mm -hmm. It continues. I turn around, and now the nanny's smiling at me like, "Isn't this cute?" And that's when I snapped inside. I I said, "Will you shut the fucking kid up?" Oh Jesus! And I yelled Jesus. it, yelled it really loud. Shut the fucking kid up. And then she looks at me like I'm absolutely crazy. Right. Absolutely. Right. Now I'm arguing with I'm the lady. Her like, side. <gasps> Rightly so. Now I'm arguing with the lady like, just shut the kid up. It, uh -huh. You know, whatever. This is going, you know, it's it's obnoxious. Blah, 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 blah. And then she's crossing the road as she's cursing me out and I'm screaming at her. Were you and, feeling stressed about something? Yeah, I told you I was just edgy in general. I don't know why. So then, uh, so then like she crosses the road. And people look at me and nod like, all right, you know, you had the balls to do that because it was driving us crazy. And then other people look was at me. Was it a scared nod like, okay, <laughs> that was good you did that. <laughs> a few of those. It was very good. A few of those, a couple thumbs up. And then um, a lot of uh, mostly older women looking yeah. at me like they just ate a lemon. Like, ugh, ugh, what is wrong with you? 
And then I actually heard two girls crossing the street going, did you just see that? <laughs> like, oh. they couldn't believe they just saw, like, somebody yelling at a kid in a nanny. Well, good. Shut the fuck up. You know something? I might not agree with the place that it took a place, but, uh, yeah, I, I, I agree. I think more people should yell at these uh, people uh, with the kids. Shut them up. You don't know how annoying it is, and they don't even try. That's well, the thing that saves them. Yeah. Is if, you, you, you know, if I'm on a plane and some kid's crying, it doesn't really bug me as long as the person is trying. It's a kid. Try. The person is trying to shut the kid that's, up, but when they're just sitting there, that's that's the point I want to make. And it's your kid; you know how to shut him up. No, but whatever it takes, give him candy, give him do all the wrong things you're not supposed to do in the situation where it's on an aircraft or in a fucking movie theater. But that's the point I want to make, and hopefully it'll save me a little bit. If I turn around and she was doing anything to try to mm -hmm. shut the kid up or do something. Then, then I understand. It, uh, kids are going to be kids at that age, especially. But the fact is, when I turned around and she was smiling like, "Isn't this cute?" and she had no intention of doing anything, mm. and and we're walking down the sidewalk, and all you hear is, ah! Ah! Oh. Ah! Ah! "Exactly." Wow. Just uh, imagine that for a whole block, though, before you finally turn around and, yeah. and say something. That was for five, not even five seconds, Anthony. Whew. You know what that uh, reminds uh, me of? That that shoved something in that mouth. I did a sitcom one time. My character was married, and it had like a baby. So they have to use twins because babies can only work like three hours. Right. So one kid is like literally catatonic, okay, a, a axe murderer could come in and pick this kid up and the kid doesn't do shit. The other kid, his own mother picks him up and he's completely freaking the fuck out. So this guy starts calling, say, say one's name's whatever, Bob, the other one's name's Bill. We use Bob first, the catatonic one. He does a quick switch. And he starts calling the other one Bob, he, the catatonic one. He starts calling him Bill. Put a fucking six-hour day in on one kid. <laughs> oh, and the other kid didn't do shit. shit. <laughs> because the day before, I swear to God. And, kids, he, and, he, makes, and he looks over me and winks. I'm like, now I'm part of it? Like, kids working a full shift. Yeah. Got an a OT. little baby minor hat. And the day, the day before, <laughs> this is all true, the day before, we tried to use both kids. And we, uh, I think it was the week before, the episode before. Mm. And the one kid was crying. I'm standing, waiting to go backstage. Like I'm standing backstage, waiting to go on. And uh, as the scene's going, and you know, right before the like, is the kid okay? He's like, yeah, yeah, he's okay. And you see the kids like starting to well up, right? So literally, right as I'm starting to go out, the kid is starting to make that face like he's gonna cry. And starts opening his mouth. His dad took a fucking sugar corn pop or something, you know, those little yellow things, yeah, and just shoved it in his mouth. <laughs> no, I was horrified. And he's the kid's like, oh, like trying to spit it out, and I'm walking out with my wacky next door neighbor lines. <laughs> it, was, it was horrendous. That is great. They're fucking props at that point. Oh, the yeah. prop is not cooperating. His own dad, and, the, and the kid, you're getting like four grand, yeah, two grand a kid or something like that per wow. episode. So I mean, that's a lot of money. Oh my god. Kind of your that's maternal horrid. instincts go out to shut this. Fuck. Yeah, paycheck. Oh yeah. Holy crap. <laughs> Let me get into this one. Mike in Florida. Oh. Go ahead, Mike. Hey, guys. Uh, I'm a long-time listener. I love you guys to death, but I've always been amazed by your hate for children. Yeah. Really get a kick out of it. It's kind of strange. You know, I hate that you uh, listeners just make blanket statements. Anthony absolutely hates kids. Yes, yeah, yeah. I, I totally agree with you on that. I don't hate kids. I, I like hate kids. everything I they do. I have a lot of nephews and nieces. Absolutely love them. They're well-behaved. I want my own kids. I can't wait. All right? But I, I can't stand kids that misbehave in, in, in fucking public situations, and it drives yeah. me I, nuts. I agree with you, but I, I have one question. Did the kids start crying, like, out of nowhere, or was it crying initially from the time you saw it? it? They were behind me the whole time, so I don't know if they turned the corner as I was passing or just got out of a store. I have no idea. All I, I know is the kids yeah, screaming bloody been, murder. Stop crying for two blocks and just finally giving up trying to get home. You know, I don't know. Nah, she could even have backed off or something because she was right behind a, a lot of people and attacked off. To, to do anything, jump in. I don't know. Stay out of the crowd. You know, stop, stop. Uh, you know, strolling and pick up the baby for a second. I yeah. don't know. Do something. All I ask, and and all these guys, these guys agree too, and I think a lot of people out there is at least try. That's all yeah. we ask for. At least try to shut the kid up. You know, you're in a restaurant trying to enjoy a meal, and oh there's that God. kid screaming bloody murder, and the parents are like, ah, it's our night out. I, I don't give around. a fuck. If my kid's going to scream, everyone's going to have to suffer. Yeah, That's yeah. bullshit. That's your burden. If the Not kid's mine. still yelling and screaming after you try to calm him down, then I accept that. 
you know, I, I respect the parents that all of a sudden take their kid and go outside for a little while. You don't see that often, though. No. You, you, I, I agree with you, and I, 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 it is kind of a blanket statement, but I do think Anthony would probably uh, just turn around, kick the stroll over, and take off job. Well, <laughs> I don't think I'd do that, sir, but no, it's I, I just don't like things kids do. No, no, I like kids. I think they're adorable, cute uh, photographs. You look Easy. at them. Easy. Like, That's good. I download them off. Of <laughs> <laughs> but, uh, Jesus, there's another story about that in the paper today. Calm down. But, but when they start, like, yapping and screaming, you're in a restaurant, and the parents think it's fine for the kid to get up and start running around the, the table and screaming. You're in a motor vehicle, and the kid's running back and forth just screaming, and the parent does nothing. Yeah, they accidentally trip one, but on purpose. Oh, it is the best when they hurt themselves. I laugh out loud. And I don't ask for a request. <laughs> I don't ask you to do requests often. Uh, and you know I don't I put you on the spot often. Yeah. But could you do your impression of a kid running back and forth? Oh, and they did. It's this one is of all my favorite hear. things. <laughs> As you're trying to enjoy a nice meal, there's the kid running all over the restaurant. <laughs> what happened? Did my mic blow up? Why? Or did I pull my uh? No, you're so, there you're, we go. you're still. Yeah, on. I pulled my cord out doing that. <laughs> but that, you and, want, you want a little that. tip? Yeah. Most kids cry because they want attention, and most yep. uh, most parents, well, a lot of parents, because I don't want to, I don't want to piss off too many parents today. They will run to the kid when they start crying, right? Yeah. And the kid knows mm -hmm. that, and that's a, a a reason why they cry a lot, right? Yeah. I'm no expert here. I'm not a father yet. Okay, but. When that same kid is crying and looks at you in a restaurant and, and, and is looking at you crying, all you have to do is give them the look of death and the yeah. evil look, and they'll shut the fuck Just up. Just look all nasty at them. Like, I'm not enjoying this, yeah. and I'm not your parent. The parent, here's the thing. It'll shut do. them up every time. Dude. <laughs> And then the and the parents sometimes wonder Jesus. why did my kid just shut? That's weird. Yeah. Why did my kid just shut and up? You're, and you at this point have turned around. You're enjoying your pasta, you know. But for that split second, you turn around and just give them that evil look. Wow, it's like, selfish. I will eat you. It's I'll do, selfish. I'll do that to a toddler. <laughs> I draw the line at babies. Though. Yeah. Well, it's selfish. As far as parents go, it's fucking selfish because they're out. This is one of their, you know, the one night they get a month that they're out. Uh, they got the kid with them, but they just want to spend time. Like, just because they're out, they think they're not with their kids anymore. So they sit there, they're trying to enjoy themselves with their kids screaming, but they're like, I'm not going to deal with this because we're out. Well, yeah. the whole fucking restaurant's dealing with it. Oh, my God, that's it. That's. It. I heard this once in a sushi restaurant. I hear this screaming. No, it's not. And, and this woman picks up her kid by the arms... And I'm eating, picks up her kid by the arms, shoves her nose right into the kid's ass and goes, Ooh, you need a changing. <laughs> and I'm looking, I'm eating, I'm fucking disgusted. Oh, my God. They just don't understand that everyone isn't a parent. Everyone doesn't think that's fine or cute or just normal because that's what you got to do when you have kids. Did what you about start the changing them right on the sushi bar? <laughs> yeah, right, right there on the sushi bar. I had a little baby turd roll. Oh, I was going to say, wasabi for everybody. <laughs> yeah, wasabi. Nice green glob of wasabi. Oh. They a, don't understand. Get a good one. They don't understand. Have you been in the movie theater where the kid runs up and down the aisle? Oh, yeah. Isn't that fun? Runs that makes up the movie and great. down the aisle. When they're too young to understand anything that's going on in the movie, so they're just t asking questions about everything. Yeah. Stop. Rated R movie. <laughs> Rated R. Why is that? It's called fucking. You have awful parents. Shut the fuck up. Turn around. Eat your Twizzlers and watch them fuck. <laughs> so, what do you think? Some of those kids are going to have dentures by the fourth grade. <laughs> Just eating cotton candy. Was I out of line yesterday? <laughs> Milk thuds. Uh, yeah. On the street, that's a little rough. I would, you I, would, I would more try to concentrate on what you were so irritated yeah, with, I, don't that, know, um, I was just on Ed yesterday. I don't even that know. That made you but... yell at one of God's little miracles. Yo, oh. <laughs> you could have crossed the street. I guess. You could have crossed the street. I guess. I don't know. I haven't been on edge lately, though. I've been fine. I've been very happy lately. But I, I don't know. It's hilarious. You probably rob a bank with but, a crying kid. But then, like, I was on the subway going down to Little Italy, and now I'm feeling bad. Like, oh, God, was I out of control up there? And I'm, I'm asking a lot of questions mm. and thinking about it. But then I remember some of the people that were kind of giving me the thumbs up, like, and nodding, like, way to go. 
But then I'm seeing the other people like, oh my I'm, God, you're you're just what is wrong with you? Same guy that stabbed that kid here in the city a couple of weeks ago in the stroller. For what reason? I was giving you the thumbs up. All right, you need a knife? I don't know. Just out of nowhere, this guy jumped out and uh, stabbed a, an infant in a stroller. Maybe they had history. Maybe. <laughs> Owed him money or something. Yeah, <laughs> Pissed him off. Drug deal gone bad. All right, we're just warming up. We got to talk about Hurricane Rita today. When we get back, uh, remind me, we got to talk about this jet blue uh, pilot guy. Not quite the impression we had of him. Not at all. And also, we have audio of Big A and Stalker Patty's date in Little Italy last night. Did it, uh, just just quick tease, I just want to know, did it go well? Uh, I guess so. Oh, good. When I was there, they were leaving the restaurant holding hands. What was wow. that about? Or were they doing that for the camera? <laughs> it was, might have been a little staged. <laughs> a little staged? <laughs> Why, Nathaniel? Jesus. Porno movie starts up later, completely staged. Suck my... D- 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 <laughs> we'll talk to Nathaniel. <laughs> He was the chaperone for the big date last night. What do you want me to do? There's a picture that's been uh, circulating around the studio of them in the big chair. The oversized chair. Oh. With a big, huge, oversized big like, props. beer bottle. Where was that taken? Props. I think we're getting that picture online, right? Yeah. Yeah. All right, we'll get into the whole you thing. You have them playing games and stuff? Oh, fantastic. Yeah. <laughs> All right, we'll get into the whole thing. Yeah. Just... No, we're going to go... <laughs> All right, uh, Mike, I guess, or Meek from Virginia. You're my hero, Opie. Tax Cons from Whackbag.com. Opie, you should have turned around and shouted, there's no Santa Claus. Taint Liquor. Opie got a thumbs up and a good luck, bro. Green Guy from Buffalo. Did Opie turn around and say, what the fuck is your problem, man? Uh, Chrissy from Whackbag.com. Great job, Opie. Getting rave reviews on that. All right, it's okay to yell at kids. <laughs> That's what I we learned so corrected. far. Uh, there was something else we wanted to hit. Oh, yeah. Remember from, uh, the other day about that uh, countdown we were doing? Michelle, Virginia, what's up? Oh, my gosh. I didn't want to be on the air. I just wanted to know what the number one song was. Oops, too bad. You, you called. <laughs> she's been trying to find out the number one song for how many days now? Three or four days? Uh, well, this is the first time I've called, but I've been trying to listen to the um, replays and haven't heard it. Yeah, which list? Uh, the top song since we've been born or something like yeah. that? Yeah. Yeah. Well, Bill Burr will tell you the number one. Go ahead, Bill. Yeah, I got it right here. Okay. Are, are you ready? I'm ready. All right. Hang on a second. Hello? Wow, did, yeah. he, wow, did he, he hear that? Is she still here? I'm still that here. That was really not much of a reaction. <laughs> I didn't hear anything. Well, you're, you're going to have to listen to the replay. It told you the song. Holy crap. I didn't know. I thought it was going to be like no, Todd Mugo. Okay. Microphone. Huh? Are you ready? I'm ready. All right. <laughs> 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 the delay. No, she is the same person. She's been trying to get the number one song for three or four days now. All right. Um, you want to listen to some audio of Big A and Stalker Patty dating? Of course I do. Nathaniel, you got to take over that mic. We'll move <laughs> it around or whatever. Do what you got to do. <clears throat> Nathaniel was uh, the chaperone for the big date mm-hmm. with Stalker Patty and Big A. They went to Paisano of Mulberry Street in the heart of Little Italy. Yeah. Well, you know, peace going on. These two are a little, um, I don't know, what would you call them? Um, um, disgusting. Mm, well, <laughs> well, they're not retarded. What's going to go there? Not like um, sort of a little left of center. Dude, if you could have smelled this chair. Really? I bent down to plug my headphones in. That was after Big A was sitting oh. in Bill Burr's chair. Nervous ass sweat. Ah, oh. nervous ass. Uh, uh, I'm I'm a little nervous. <laughs> <laughs> and my ass is <laughs> sweating. Uh, speaking of which, really fast, I went to take a leak, and I'm coming back into the into the studio to broadcast, right? And mm. I was down there at uh, Paisano. Yeah, had a great meal by the way. Excellent, Wee, clean, so. So uh, I saw Big A and Stalker <laughs> Patty. So as I'm, w- I'm walking back into the studio, Big A goes, "Hey, Ope, how was your supper? How was your supper? Supper? Didn't we retire that word back in like 19? I don't know, hundred? He does look a little medieval, doesn't he? 
<laughs> little medieval, like yeah. a big turkey leg. <laughs> <laughs> I can't remember the. I can't remember the last time someone used this, the word supper. Yeah. How was your supper? Little house on the prairie line. <laughs> he looks like he should have, you know, that, that weapon that's like the stick, and then it's the chain with the metal ball that just, like, <laughs> come and just kind of have that slung over his shoulder. <laughs> with some kind of uh, mask that doesn't fit quite right. Yeah. And you, you have to fight him because you fucked the king's daughter. <laughs> 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 uh, big A, my supper was great. You have supper in a carved wooden bowl with that big wooden spoon, and it's it's like gruel. Supper? It, it, with with big chunks of whatever meat in it, like a stew. That's uh, supper. That's a retired word. We don't yeah. use supper on this show. Dinner. We're fancy people. Dinner would be nice. How was your meal? Mm. How was your supper? <laughs> what time do you sup? <laughs> supper. Really creepy. All right, Nathaniel. Hi. Overall, how did the date go? Um, it was okay. Okay. I was a little disturbed that Big A brought a friend. Brought a friend? Who? Uh, Paul. Why he, he, did he bring a friend? Well, he invited a friend who, yeah. Why? I'm not date. sure. Yeah, I know. Needed a chaperone. Shit. Well, that was me, though. Yeah. If he, if he thought things were going to get out of hand. Out of hand. Do we want Big A in here yet? Uh, do the mics work? And it's all gonna work. I don't know. Does the handheld work? I don't know. So he doesn't have to sit and ass up a seat. <laughs> yeah, just have him stand awkwardly near. Yeah, the you're gonna door. have to have the official Big H chair or something. Yeah. Let's see if the uh, wireless works. I got a quick uh, another story as we uh, get Big A in here. So I go down to the San Gennaro feast, right? And I'm uh, making my way to Paisano, and. Uh, they have a little uh, little side road. Actually, I think it was a parking lot. And I mm -hmm. see world's smallest woman. Oh. And it was only a dollar a person. Come on. Worth it. And there was like, uh, uh, <clears throat> I, I'm trying to, there was like, how can I explain this? There was like, uh, you're, you're looking at a sign, the world's smallest woman, okay? Mm -hmm. And it's only, uh, hold up like that Al Pacino Scarface poster. Turn it sideways. That's all you see, right? Yeah. At the size of a poster that you would uh, would see on your wall. So I pay my two dollars and I go. So where's the world's smallest woman? I'm I'm thinking I got to walk through this, you know, back alley and then behind curtains and stuff. Yeah. It was behind this thing that was as big as a this poster, let's say, that you would hang on your wall. So you just walk to the other side of it, and there was this little fidget sitting in a tiny, tiny little uh, couch watching TV. And now you're just staring at her, going, hey, what's up? Hey, freak. Like, you don't know what to say to him. Was she... To her. Was she the world's smallest, Hell really? Hell no, man. False advertising? She was tiny, though. She was probably no more than three three feet tall. Wow, really? Jesus Christ, you just sit there? So That's she's just cool. sitting there with a book, and she's watching TV, and she's watching Friends, of all things. So now I'm just staring at her awkwardly. I paid my dollar, and... Uh, now you're trying to have small talk with the world's smallest woman. <laughs> small talk. Very funny. <laughs> but I'm pumped. So I go, hey, ah, watching Friends. And she's not saying anything. And that's when, like, Lindsay, like, pokes me and then, then points to the sign that says, I do not speak English. So now you're, like, just nodding at the world's smallest woman. And, and you can't talk to her. And you're just like, <laughs> wow, you're really small. And, wow, I feel <laughs> really awkward. And it's probably uh, good she doesn't speak uh, English. That's a really bad opening line. Like, hey, uh... <laughs> Watching Friends, huh? Well, what else do you say to the world's smallest woman? Hey, what's up there, you little shit? Hey, tiny. It seems like a great idea until you, uh, you're face-to-face -face with the, the little freak, and then you don't know what to say or do. Yeah. What do you do? That's not a safe feeling. You want to be with a mob of other mean people. That's what I'm saying. Throwing shit at her. <laughs> if it was a bunch of us, then yeah. We could all secretly be mocking her, but one-on-one, -on -one, it's a little weird. It's a little weird. Mm. See? Isn't that interesting? Yeah. I mean... Just like the lines that Opie has, I mean, he'll scream at a baby. They they have they, they make no sense. Well, what about a do? little woman on the couch? What was yeah. he gonna do? And then she doesn't speak English. And then I, I'm like, I guess I got my dollars worth. <laughs> and I walked away. Is that it? When you feel you've gotten your dollars worth, you leave? Could you theoretically just stand there all day? And the only reason gawking? I'm looking at her is because she was the world's smallest woman. Yeah. And if we if you could find one smaller, there's like a ten thousand dollar bounty that they they'll pay. Yeah, I'm sure they will. So, 
Sure. Yeah, he'll get that check right to you. Yeah, sure. And then as I'm yeah. walking away, a yeah. guy that obviously was on crack, a white a white guy on crack, <clears throat> no teeth, comes running up to me with a dart, <clears throat> telling me it was for free. Really, First see? one's free, just That's like the story you works. told me. But I remember the story you told me, Anthony, so I passed on the dark you thing. pass on the dark because passed it's never it. free. I was thinking about you. I'm like, You'll be paying. They, that's how they rook you in there. They rope you in. They, they give you one. They go, yeah, this is free. Take a throw. And you throw. Here you go. Try another. Try another. Come on. Try another. And then uh, all those ones that you tried another, right. uh, you got to pay for. Right. Exactly. Under the guise that they were all free. Because he said it was free. All right, Big A is in studio. Big A, why did you bring a friend on your date with Stalker Patty? Uh, what, uh, what friend? What friend? Paul. Uh, I guess Paul. Did English Paul show up? Tap tap, tap tap. Looks like Al Del Vecchio. Tap. <laughs> 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 tap tap. <laughs> tap. Did you bring uh, Paul? No, he wanted to come. He's a fan of the show. He wanted to come. Oh. I didn't bring him. Oh, you didn't bring him? No. He just showed up. Yeah. He was trying to cock block you. Big A, you look really fucked up. Are you, are you hung over today? I had like three hours of sleep. Oh. oh, hey. 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 Somebody got lucky. Nice. Oh. Yeah. Oh, wow. Well, we don't want to know how the date ended. We've got to start from the beginning here. Three hours sleep, though. Mm -hmm. And you guys were uh, drinking the free wine down there, huh? Yeah, Joey yeah. Uh, really hooked these guys up at Paisano. Did he? Big time. And I saw the, the crafts of wine. Oh, yeah. Being brought out, and they were they were partaking big time. Big A, a big drinker? Uh, not that much. No? A little bit. Uh, how many glasses of wine would you say you had? Uh, about three. About three? Yeah. Had a little buzz on? A little bit. Did Patty yes. partake in any wine? Um, oh, we'll, we'll one glass. We'll reveal her drinking. Oh, okay. <laughs> great, great. <laughs> Very so good. So where should we start, Nathaniel? This is your whole thing. Well, I, I got a lot of audio in front of us. What you got there is the pre-date coaching session. Aha. Uh -huh. yeah. What's that about? Uh, that's that's e rock specialty right there. e rock Um, what happened? It takes a little while. Go ahead. And his mic doesn't work. Hello. There we are. What happened was... um. Intern Paul and Master Poe decided to give Andrew some coaching in the ways of love and how to treat a lady. Oh, God. And there may or may not have been a microphone on somewhere <laughs> in their presence. What you have to do is grab her by the throat, gentlemen. <laughs> All right, so Intern Paul. Who's Intern Paul? Do we even know this kid? Which one's that? It's the one you don't like. Oh, the one from Paul uh, from Ron and Fez? Yep. Uh. What could he possibly... Uh, Tell Not Big A. a whole lot. No? Okay. All right. Let's let's uh, let's get to the audio. So, Master Poe talking to Andrew about giving Patty a rose, I guess. Let's listen in here. Seriously, yeah. buy, go to the wherever you want, buy her a rose. Actually, as you're walking through the streets or whatever, you'll see people with flowers. you say, Patty, wait a second. I'd like to come back to you in a second and then present her with a rose. I got one step better than that. Oh, boy. Okay. Don't present her in the street. <laughs> the restaurant. Oh, okay, but how is he going to store it though? Unless he calls and says, you know. This is what you do. Um. Yeah, you can do it on the street. That's See, that's the only thing. Like he has to call in advance, or else he's going to know about it. You either want to surprise her, or you want to surprise her, basically, or present her with it right away. I think, you know, as you're walking, it's a spontaneous thing saying, hey, I'm just thinking about you. I'm with you, but I'm still thinking about you. Let me present you with this. Ugh. Oh, are you kidding me? You have one of those single roses that they sell on the street. I'm thinking about you. I'm with you, and I'm thinking about you. One of those I'm ladies came up to me as I'm sitting at Paisano. Yeah. I was like, get away. Leave. Go away. I don't want your rose that's going to last maybe to, four hours. They try to guilt you. Flower yeah. for the pretty lady. Right. For the lady. Oh, she ain't special enough? Go fuck yourself, all yeah. right? That's what I say now. <laughs> right after I'm done screaming at a baby. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> Stupid lady with her roses that last four hours. I like Poe. Get no, away I, from me. I have a better idea. And then he just... Present it to her at the restaurant. Well, how are you going to get the flower to the restaurant? She's going to see it. As a... All right, give it to her in the street. <laughs> <laughs> the fuck? Give her a spinning back fist. 
<laughs> so you knock her out, bring her to the restaurant. She won't see the rose till she regains consciousness. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Uh, I love it. A lot of people very pissed off that E-Rock was able to make it into the studio without his walk-on music, by the uh, way. I am reading instant feedback from people that are fuming, they livid are at Derek. very pissed off. Derek comes up with this great bit and forgot to play the music today. There's E-Rock. It started E-Rock. yesterday. It started yesterday? Yeah, he sta- let him get away with it. He dropped the ball and uh, hasn't picked it up. All right. Here's more advice uh, that Master Poe and this guy Paul gave uh, Andrew for his date with Stalker Patty. My thing is I treated my girl too far, too well. My you don't do that. I'm telling you right now, you don't do that. That's what I did. So she got spoiled and it was more... No red carpet, no opening doors. They can open the doors themselves. The only time that you do any of that stuff is when they deserve it. Quick. It's like a fucking bronze tail. She opens the door, she's in. She opens the door. Yeah, she opens the door. Yeah, she opens the door. Yeah, she the door. She opens the door when you come in, she'll stab you. No, no, no. You, 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 you open the door for her. No, you lock the both car doors. And you open it up on the side. And if she reaches around and pulls it. She's a good one. Yeah. Because <laughs> he doesn't draw it, it doesn't work. Yeah. So if you take the subway, <laughs> and the doors don't really open, and she tries to jimmy the door open for you, then you're in. Oh, that's just the blind leading the blind. There is <laughs> no way to maybe pump some Zyklon B into the room they were talking in and just kill them. <laughs> just gas everybody that was talking in, during that conversation. Did you hear that? Yeah. They were quoting movies. What movie was that from? A Bronx oh, Tale. A Bronx Tale, that's right. Okay. Yeah, you, 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 you get in the. You, you open up the lady's door. She gets in the passenger seat. You shut it to be a gentleman. And she is supposed to then lean over and unlock your door. And then, according to the movie, she's a keeper. Because she, you know, and cares she and open the door. She's a selfish piece of shit. Right. And that's just the tip of the iceberg. Right, exactly. <laughs> Very, Very good. good. All right. I think it's a good test. Yeah. More, more advice uh, for uh, the big A before his day with Stalker Patty. I don't think he's prepared. So. Maybe we can raise a little money for him to go tonight. Five bucks. Or five, if, if we can all raise it. Maybe. I don't know how many people are in for the five. Fire a five dollar rose, and the rest is there. <laughs> we'll be good, kid. Kid, I have faith in you. And if there's any left over and you need it, buy a couple times. So they gave you how much? They gave you money for your date? Um, tap. Yes. Tap, tap. <laughs> Not tapping. Yeah, you were. A little bit. <laughs> Just a little. If Jimmy was here, he would tape your hands down. You know that, right? Tap. Tap, tap. No. I think he taps out in Morse code what he's going to say. <laughs> Is that it? <laughs> beep, 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 beep. <laughs> yes. <laughs> so they gave you money, Big A? Yes. How much? Um, tap, 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 tap. Tap, tap, tap. Tap. Wow. Tap, tap. Five bucks? Um, you could tap because you're not going to get it out. <laughs> I don't mean to be an ass. I do, actually, but go ahead. I'll stop with the bet. All right. How, how much? How much? Uh, now you're tapping your legs. <laughs> His whole body. Oh That's amazing. <laughs> really is. <laughs> Can you talk without moving and tapping? If you had I'll to. Try. Not really. No. Well, huh? <laughs> Holy crap. All right. How much money? Um, two 20s. Two Ooh, 20s? Yeah. 20s. Nice. $40, huh? Wow. All right. Uh, the last of uh, the advice from Master Poe and intern Paul. Uh, uh, did, you, uh, did you think I was looking, you know, dressed up today? Or? Yeah, you look good. Yeah. You look Hollywood. Hey, uh, you, you look like a movie star. I mean, I don't want to like a movie star. Sometimes you find you always. You feel like, uh, <laughs> let's see, Burt Reynolds? <laughs> <laughs> Burt Reynolds? <laughs> Which one do you feel like, Burt Reynolds? <laughs> he has one reference. Yeah, well, at one time he wasn't, but yes, he is over the hill. Jesus, Master <laughs> Paul, great reference. Nice reference. Look at a movie star. Like, like Burt Reynolds. Pick someone else. Burt Reynolds? Burt Reynolds? Like Jack Palance? So feel like Burt Reynolds? <laughs> Who do you feel like? Jen Michael Vincent? <laughs> 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 movie star. Looks like Paul Bearer, not Burt Reynolds. 
Look like Sean Cassidy. <laughs> huh? Watch the Hardy Boys. Real sex symbol. Cover a Tiger Beat. Leif Garrett. <laughs> you look like Brad. Yikes. <laughs> Oh man, <laughs> oh, movie star! Yeah, sure. I, lo I love his frame of reference. All right, get Star Capaldi in here too, so we Some can move 30 on. Thirty, thirty year delay. Oh yeah, probably owns like. There goes Eric. Ah, there <laughs> it is. Derek's trying to make up now. <laughs> Derek's so pissed off because he's, he's really he's pissed. usually perfect. Yes, she gets and hot. Stalker She's wearing Patty. the same shorts she had on yesterday. And Eric back in the studio. <laughs> <laughs> you got to get a mic. Uh, Patty, you're wearing the same shorts you had on yesterday. So, Wolfie wears the same shirt. <laughs> I don't care. Oh, it's a jab. It's okay for someone to wear the same shirt. It's okay for me to wear the same shorts. I only have a very small wardrobe, so i got to rotate everything. Well, that means you should have rotated. Yeah. <laughs> How many uh, shorts? Well, everything you got? else is in the wash. I only yeah. got about two pairs that I can actually wear. Two the, pairs. The of other shorts. one is so short, I only wear it to go to bed at night as a night clothes. That's it. So you kind of have some uh, hoary shorts in your wardrobe. Yeah. <laughs> hey, Patty, are you an elf? An elf? What do you mean by that? I'm not three feet tall. Look at her ear. What do you mean? Turn sideways. Show Anthony. That's a little elvish, <laughs> a little pointy. Oh. How, did you have fun last night, Patty? I had a great time. Yeah. Oh. We, and then we went to see the band afterwards, too, and that was awesome. What band? To you. Oh, you did? Yeah. Went to go see my brother's band. He, yeah. He must have been thrilled to see you Poor last Joe. night. Poor huh? <laughs> did he dedicate a song to you guys? I don't know. Did he? No. Mm. Oh. <laughs> mm. But the lead singer knows Big Gay and kept yelling out his name. And he says, Big Gay and Stalker Patty. So they must have been listening to the ah, show. Ah, yeah. Well, that's <laughs> right. Okay. All right. Well, we got audio of uh, the big date. And we got them in studio. So I guess it started in the cab. Yeah, sort of the Nathaniel going for the taxi cab confession. Kind oh, of feel. nice. Very good. Although yep. the video won't look exactly like that because I'm... Sitting next to them. <laughs> yeah. Because we really tried to find a, a, a minivan cab, but it was a bad time to yeah. be picky. All right. Uh, it's just like the show. You yeah. Know? Have a, some ass with a microphone. <laughs> right. <laughs> All right. Here we go. All right. Big A. How do you think Patty looks tonight? Uh, I think she, she looks very beautiful. Yeah. And uh, very nice. Patty, I know you saw Big A earlier, but how do you think he looks? He looks very good. He took the time to get dressed up. Nice. Which is very good. Very good. You guys going to drink at, at Paisano's? Oh, uh, yeah, I'll probably have some wine. Um, oh, Patty. Uh, uh, I'll you... probably have the glass of wine. The oh, glass. Just oh, don't Patty be... drinking. Uh oh well, I don't really drink, but <laughs> a little bit of wine is not that bad. It's okay. How many glasses do you think, Patty, before you might be a little less inhibited? Well, I don't know, because uh, I have self-control all the time. <laughs> have you ever gotten drunk before? No, and I don't expect to either. Ever? Ever. Why not? Why? Because I think people look silly when they're drunk. They do crazy, stupid things. So, isn't that kind of half the fun? Is you know going out of your comfort zone? You can have fun and still do it right. So we knew it was going to be a hot evening. <laughs> Sounds <laughs> like it. Yeah. <laughs> wow. Off to the right foot. <laughs> yeah. yeah. On the right foot. Big A is going to get smashed, and she's going to look at him like he's doing stupid things. <laughs> Very good. Fun night for everybody. He so far, so good. Sounds like, uh, yeah, he, he you guys were fine. on your way. He didn't get smashed. He was okay. Yeah? yeah. He, he had three glasses of wine. Or well, did he have more than that? Some people can have more than others. And hey, he fine. can handle it. Nice. You know? Yeah. All right, let's uh, move on. More audio from the cab. Big A, very nervous here, huh? How are you feeling, Patty? Very relaxed. Yeah? Yep. Yeah. Very good. Looking forward to a wild and crazy evening. Whoa. <laughs> of one glass of wine. <laughs> <laughs> Complete oh, yeah. self-control. <laughs> and good food. Good company also. Good company. Oh, hey, Big A. Big A, are you nervous? 
Uh, yes, I am. Why are you nervous? Why are you nervous? Well, anytime you go on a first date, it's always a little nervous. And having you know people following you and cameras and and audio, you know, it, it's a little nerve wracking. What do you what do you try to do to deal with your nerves? Um, just trying you know, to relax and have happy thoughts and. <laughs> And just uh, I'll try to take it easy. Patty, are you flattered that he's so nervous? Yeah, but you needn't be nervous. You're out with friend, you know. Oh, how do you feel about her constantly throwing out the f word? Well, at first you have to be a friend before anything else. No. You know, so one step at a time. Uh, yes. First, you know, be friends, and then who knows if that. And then the banging. I hear you. <laughs> <laughs> Daniel was the perfect guy to sit uh, on this, man. Perfect. <laughs> you were you were in hell, right? Be honest. Um, <laughs> be honest. Well, my my mind's going like, how's this gonna sound tomorrow? And I'm like. <laughs> Not that sweet. <laughs> so I tried to, yeah. Spice it up a Spice little. It up yeah. Little. Sure. Let's go to Joe in New Jersey. Joe, what's up? Hey, boys. Hey. She says, uh, you know, people do stupid things when they're drunk. I don't know, like maybe crawl across the floor naked with a crusty mask on? <laughs> I wasn't drunk. <laughs> That's what what I exactly. <laughs> exactly. Yeah, That's the point he's more. making there, Stalker Patty. <laughs> you do crazy things without drinking. <laughs> Let's go to Joe on Whack Bag. Joe, what's up? Hey guys, how's it going? Hey, I, I wanted to uh, tell Bird that uh, Jimmy already figured out what the tapping's all about. It's uh, it's tap, don't kill, tap, don't kill. <laughs> Not worth doing. Let him tap, let him tap away, Tony. Hey man. Hey. Hey, I wanted to find out if old Big A washed his package in case he got taken care of last night. Yeah, did you prepare the area, Big A? Yes, yes I did. Yeah. Uh, how how did you prepare the area? Just a little soap. Tap, tap, tap. Soap and body and body wash. Body wash. Did you trim it? Uh-huh. Did the big no. A shave down there? Oh no. You got a big hairy mess down there. Bird like nest. Snuffleupagus. <laughs> <laughs> got a loofah stuck down there. <laughs> <laughs> you don't trim it up at all. Just let it ride. Yes. Wow. Big mess. <laughs> All right, Jesus. we got more audio from the calf. <laughs> I'm trying here. Patty, Patty trying. would be so scared of that. You realize? Yeah. Patty would be very frightened of a big hairy mess like that. Patty? Yes. Wouldn't you like your guy's uh, schlong area to be nice? <laughs> <laughs> uh, nice? I would like the whole person to be nice. <laughs> What's the matter, Billy? <laughs> Go ahead. Oh, Go ahead, Bill. Nothing. What's the matter, Bill? Bill has a problem. Bill? No, I, I'm I'm fine. Uh-huh. <laughs> you sure? Yes. All right. More audio from the cab. Big A. We got the big dinner coming on. What's phase two of the date? Um, I'm going to be taking Patty to the Red Lion to see two you. Um, see brother Joe and his and his band. Patty, you excited for that? Yeah, I was at the Red Lion once before at the beginning of the summer when he was there. So I'm glad he's in the city. Yeah. Are you going to get down with Big A? <laughs> so we'll probably dance. <laughs> how, about, how about bumping and grinding? Is that uh, up on the table there? I don't know about the bumping and grinding. I'm not a good bumper and I wouldn't be a good grind. God, Patty. Oh. Uh, why? Do you, you realize the biggest prude I've ever met in my no, life? There is no sexuality to you whatsoever. Do you, why do you think? Me. Why do you think sex is so bad? It's not. It's just that's holy one of crap! Those... It's getting really frustrating. <laughs> I'm taking I'm taking myself out of the bit here. I'm frustrated. Do you know you there is nothing anything. sexual about you? You have no sexuality. You have no like. There there is nothing that a man 
uh, would just look at you and, and the, the vibe you put out, what you talk about, and see anything remotely sexual or... I don't know. It's just my upbringing. I was raised to b- the belief that the world wouldn't like me if I was a little loose or something or the not world have no like friends you in now. the world. Have you watched MTV ever? <laughs> yeah, I do. I yeah, watch I mean, it all the time. Yeah, I mean, the parameters for being yeah. loose are I know. pretty blown out at this point. So. <laughs> Dr. Patty, yeah. everyone around you is fucking and sucking and licking <laughs> as much as they can, and you do nothing. And you're not even going to dance around well, actually, a little bit. You can barely hold hands with somebody. Uh, Holy shit. Oh, I say there are third graders getting more action than you. <laughs> I wouldn't want to be fucking and... Well, no, you know what it is? Also, the fear factor, you know, uh, you know, I don't want to get AIDS or anything like that. Or Patty, you you're know. so old now. Even if you got AIDS, <laughs> by the not time it really old. hits, it's not going to yeah. matter. I am not that <laughs> old. <laughs> But Holy I'm pretty God. sure my time will come when the moment is right, you know. The moment is right. That's it. Take yourself out of the <laughs> equation. That's the problem. You, you need to, you yeah, need to she's seize waiting. the day. Grab his cock. Come on. She's <laughs> waiting for the moment to how come you, by her. How are we going to get you out of this? I would have enough, to... Enough. Enough with the sex is dirty bullshit. It's not dirty. It's one of the most beautiful things. You don't that... know if it's oh, the most beautiful stop. thing. Oh, stop. You don't yeah, really... Stop speaking in sound bites. <laughs> you don't think of it that way. You think it's a dirty thing. And, and it's no. not always beautiful. It disgusts you, yeah. <laughs> no. Sometimes it's pretty nasty. Even in a beautiful situation, things happen. That makes it kind of disgusting. <laughs> yeah, you got to embrace it. I'm pretty sure that it'll happen <laughs> when it's... Ready to happen, you know. Yeah. I don't know that Big Gay would be the right guy. I have no idea, you know. But he's a beautiful, monotone sexual w- being trying to get out of here. Oh, I, I want to have, have a little action. But show your sexuality. A little yeah, dirty something. dancing ain't going to hurt anyone. I do. I, I think I dress A little heavy nice. petting and, you know, kissing isn't going to, you know, nothing's going to happen to you. You know something? Yeah. Uh, 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 touching each other. Is not the same as you just ho- uh, grabbing a hog and shoving it in your mouth. There are different levels, but you seem to be turned off right from the get-go. Anything. If a guy put his hand on your leg, you would see that as just as bad as fucking. So you'd be all uncomfortable. I'm pretty sure, you know, maybe, I don't know. Are you still masturbating? Um, I don't know. Maybe I might go into therapy or something. But are you, you still know? masturbating? <clears throat> Just in the nick of time. You used to masturbate to you, too, I remember. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I think everybody does that. So you do that? I'm, I'm pr- do you feel all guilty while, and you know, dirty you afterwards? No. No? I just... You know, go to Do you sleep. beat up your cat after you have an orgasm? <laughs> no, 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 no. So no. shamed. No. You don't put like nine lives down there and let no. your cat. Uh... <laughs> no, no, that is. Uh, oh, that's no. Hot. All right, let's get back to the audio. In the cab with Stark and Patty and Big A. Patty does an impression of Steve's car. Oh God. Steve's hybrid sound when they he comes into the studio and they play his hybrid sound effect. And I hear pieces, 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 pieces. It sounds That's what it sounds like. like. Pieces, pieces, pieces. pieces. Can cool. you do the? Will you shut up? Wow. Why are you talking to yourself? We're playing you on, on the radio. You don't have to comment over your own voice. <laughs> I thought I messed up editing for a second. There. Uh, that was the weirdest thing. Yeah, I didn't know what was I going on. Back up. Hold she on. She thinks that sounds like, what? The fact. And I hear pieces, 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 pieces. That's what it sounds like. Reese's pieces. Can you do the whole, like, Steve's car taking off with the Reese's Pieces? I can't do the sound effect, no. What, the what if it's just somebody saying Reese's Pieces? It shouldn't be too hard. <laughs> They're Reese's Pieces. That's him trying to get it started. Now let's do it taking off. Yeah, but I can't do that part. That's a mechanical sound. <laughs> Holy... I want to smash her head into the console <laughs> when she says Re- Reese's Pieces like that. I'm just... You were in hell, weren't you? Fishing. <laughs> Oh, yeah. That sounds just like Reese's Pieces. <laughs> You're a mental patient. Hi, who's this? Hello? Hey, who's this? Hey. Hey, this is Nick. Hey, Nick. What's up, buddy? Hey, what's up, man? I met you last night at uh, Paisano's. Okay. Uh, I took a picture with you. I wanted to say thanks, and uh, thanks for uh, being really nice to my family. Oh, no worries. Are you the one with the wife that's ready to pop? Yeah, yeah. We uh, we tried the jumping jacks. It didn't work. No, huh? 
Uh, no. Any moment his wife's giving birth, I'm like, oh, hey, yeah. let's all go out back and do some jumping jacks. <laughs> ho, ho. <laughs> hey, I, I know you guys are doing uh, Katrina, Katrina Relief. Uh, I own a tattoo studio. I'd love to uh, put up a free, a, a free tattoo of a... Uh, Free tattoo of a wow for anybody, for all listeners. All right, where's your shop, bro? It's in uh, Beth Page, Long Island, eastcoasttattoo.com. Eastcoasttattoo.com, all right. And we'd, uh, we'd love to donate a tattoo to any listener for, uh, for Katrina. All right, right on. Well, good luck right, to you then. and your wife, Nick. Thanks. All Thanks, right. Opie. All right. All right. Bye. Um, in four months, you'll be yelling at that baby. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. All right, so that was the ride down to Paisano. Paisanos. Well, what's going on here? <laughs> Bill's horrified. Laughing, laughing at Bill. What's wrong with Bill? Nothing. Oh. I just use this new fabric softener in my shirt. Yeah. yeah. I just Somebody does stuff. smell. I'll be the one like to say smell. it. I really? don't give a fuck. Who's it? Because it's driving me nuts too. I think it's. I think it's the Big A's breath. Is it? Maybe because you had a lot of wine last night, right? Maybe you're a little nervous. A little Maybe nervous. you got nervous. Maybe Patty. Is it you? No. You got nervous mouth? No, I brushed my teeth and for a cane. Is Bill here today? Uh, yeah, yeah. Uh, bring Bill in. Uh oh. Bill has balls. Bill's the guinea pig. I need someone else around here who has balls. Bill. Look at Bill. Nope. Hey, buddy. Intern Bill, who's absolutely out of his fucking mind, and he's awesome. I I love the kid. Hey, how's it going? I I, I you have to do me a favor. Mm -hmm. There's a really bad smell in the studio right now. Find out what it is. Could you okay. find it and be it, totally honest? Is it? Uh, is it a? Uh, is, is it more? Well, Bill, what kind of smell are you? Do smelling? you think it's I'm mouth, smelling old mouth lady or ass? I'm smelling like dirty breath. Moth mothballs. So, <laughs> Bill is Bill <laughs> sniffing the <big> gay. <laughs> Walking around <laughs> sniffing. Keep going, Bill. Bill's good at this stuff. <laughs> He's snipping stalker patty. What? Like a musty smell? Like Yeah. Uh, like a uh, like a musty type like grandma house type smell. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, I think it might be uh Patty's hair. <laughs> Patty's hair? I washed it two times. Get a get, get a sniff on it and see yeah, if it's really her sniff. Hair. Really sniff. It may have been from last night inside the venue. The people were smoking. Yeah. No, this is not smoking. Then I think uh, Nathaniel said something yesterday about a smell that resembled this, I think. <laughs> <laughs> resembled <laughs> this. Yeah. Or someone said something about like a smell like a grandma's house, and we were just yeah, we, yeah. figure it out. And I could think that's what you might be smelling. Old lady musk. Patty, where, where could be your clothes? Uh, well, I, also use I can't hear you. I... Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I sprayed myself with some... Spicy stuff from Avon. Spicy stuff from Avon. That's not what Because I smelling. ran out of the sweet honesty. It's like a... It's sweet honesty? Yeah, I, well, I ran out of it, so I used something else there. What does sweet honesty smell like? It smells very much like timeless, very similar to timeless. I can't describe smells. It smells like an old lady's house coat. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, timeless. <laughs> timeless and sweet honesty. It smells like a social timeless. security check and mothballs. <laughs> Uh, could you guys breathe into Bill's face, please? Um, one quick br uh, maybe. Uh, yeah, uh, right. Big A, if you could just say, "Hey, yeah, how's it going?" Yeah, no problem. Right to his face. Bill, Bill, Bill's willing to take this. Hey, how you doing? <laughs> <laughs> All right, the face that. Uh, <laughs> All right, let him let him get his composure back. The face that Bill just made was <laughs> classico. It was right, just Bill. <laughs> It's like when you mix uh, baking soda and vinegar, and then that, like, <laughs> after, like, them, that burnt off fumes. Like, really? Hot. <laughs> hot and mothball-y. All right, Stalker Patty's turn. Patty, would you say, hi, how are you doing? Hi, No, how turn your head. Turn your head to Bill. Hi, how are you doing? Not, not, She's not that bad. All right. Like, the musty old person smells coming either from her hair or her clothes. <laughs> Smell and her clothes. The, the back yeah. of her top. She I'm wearing like that top for the first time. I just like the back got of her it. head area. The back <laughs> of her head? whole hair. It's the back of the hair It must area. be her pillow and stuff. It's probably... Oh, no. Did you shower this morning or last night? Last night, and I washed my hair again. When? I 
last <laughs> night, so it could be that I let it. I went to bed wet because it was too late to blow dry it. <laughs> Uh, that could be it. Yeah, it looks it like a retired be. mermaid. <laughs> <laughs> well, I went to bed so late, how could I have time to blow dry it? <laughs> so I towel dried it and just went to bed with it wet. There you go, Bill. Towel See, it's easy. Head. Retired. It's easy to yeah, do. Yeah, I, I mean, I'll make fun of your physical appearance. You start getting into the smells. I'm just, I, I yeah. can't guess this gets too late. All right, Bill, thank you. No problem. All right, yeah, there Bill, he goes. Great job, man. <sighs> we need a name for Bill. He's He's absolutely out of his mind. The sniffer. Oh, we love him. Uh, yeah, that's a... Yeah, yeah. Nah, shut up. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so uh, now you're down at the San Gennaro Feast, making your way to Paisano's of Mulberry Street. Was it crowded down there? Uh, oh, big, my God. Uh, San Gennaro crowd. Where it's very hard to even walk down the street. Yep. Yeah. And uh, you guys stopped at a Ferris wheel? Yeah, first we did lots Ooh. of... Uh, we did, not lots. What, we did a Toys R Us in Times Square? Yeah. We did a couple games of chance. For oh, how'd that a. work out? Pretty good. Uh, big A... You know, did you win? Haul in, win what? something for Patty? Yes, <coughs> yes, I did. Oh, you did. And b- what game were you playing? Um, pop the balloons. Pop the balloons with the darts. Yes. And uh, what did you win? Um, um a seal. Mm-hmm. <laughs> and uh, and what else? A little tiny animal, like. I kept the seal for myself and gave the little tiny one to my cat to play with. <laughs> That's all good gifts should be getting thing, thing is cat. choking on the eyeball right now. <laughs> <laughs> we, can only, we can only dream. All right, we have audio of uh, Big A before he went on the first wheel. I heard something happened here. Should I not say anything yet? Probably not. This is the before. All right, here's the before right. they got on the first wheel. Do you think the uh, Ferris wheel is going to be romantic? It's going to be fun. Big A, what do you think about the Ferris wheel? Uh, I think it, it could be romantic. You know, just the two of you up up in the sky, hanging out. What do you think, Patty? Seems kind of nice, looking down at the world below. Ugh. <laughs> She's like a bad movie. Everything that comes out of her mouth is like a bad old movie. Patty's a romantic. Stop it. She is at heart, but she just has this, like, you know, this sex is dirty thing. You know, the, the Ferris wheel has always been one of those things that, you know, the couple goes up, and then you, you pay off the guy down below, hey, stop the car when we get up top, and uh, wait a little while. And that's the perfect opportunity to, you know, pull maybe... Pull your dick out. <laughs> pull, your <laughs> pull your cock out and say, we're not getting down until you suck this. <laughs> <laughs> oh what? Oh, like I'm the only one? Hey, you're a romantic too. <laughs> Slip the operator twenty bucks. Make sure we get yeah. stuck at the top. <laughs> Make There's sure we get stuck at the top. She's gonna suck my cock. <laughs> There's uh, it's horrid. You don't want to go to six. Congratulations. No, just because that's the post Ferris wheel. Six is? Seven is. Oh, okay. We'll go to seven. Okay. We don't know what happened on the first wheel yet. Pictures are up on foundrymusic.com. Maybe he's still And Opie and Anthony.com from the big day. But here's mm-hmm. what happened on the first wheel. Now they're at Paisano sitting down. Yeah. And they're discussing their little first wheel the Ferris ride. wheel ride. So you guys just came off the Ferris wheel. How did that go? Uh, 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 I was a little nervous. Uh, I don't think I've ever been on uh, 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 Ferris wheel. I was a little nervous. Uh, what happened when you first got on there? Um, uh, it was rocking a little bit and um, a little uncomfortable with the rocking. I was a little nervous, uh, but the height also. So, did you and Patty get to go together? Nah, uh, I was too big and it wouldn't balance both of us. So you guys got to go on the first wheel, but in separate cars. And we were waving to each other. <laughs> were you all uh, at all embarrassed, Big A, when they wouldn't let you ride with Patty? I'm so rim. Oh, oh my God. I would have rather <laughs> rode with Patty. But you got to wave to her. <laughs> this is the saddest yeah, story. Absolutely. I kept looking back at waving at her. <laughs> that is the saddest thing I've ever heard. You before. could not ride in the same car. You really couldn't fit in the same car? Those those seats seem pretty big, no? 
We could fit in. <laughs> but they told me <laughs> we couldn't ride together. And you know what the lack of safety concern these carny fucking ride assholes have? <laughs> like, they don't care. The, the machine's ready to fall apart at any given moment anyway. Mm -hmm. Yet it was so bad, they finally <laughs> said... No, you can't go together. That's the smell right there that I'm smelling. You just got it? Yeah, it, it's weird. What does it smell like, Bill? It was right after um, uh, uh, Big A was talking, maybe. Big yeah, A, it's just he... that thing, you know, when old people have begun dying, but they're still alive. <laughs> like their skin is starting to uh, decompose. I think that's what it is. Big A, how's your oral uh, hygiene in the morning? Your brush? Did you bite an old yes. woman's arm before you came here? <laughs> your brush good? Yes, I do. What type of uh, toothpaste do you use? Um, Crest. You use Crest. You didn't, like, bury a dead body before you came in here today, did you? No, I did not. What did you eat so far today? Nothing. I Nothing. Think it, I think it's stale breath from drinking the night before. That's all. Yeah, if you didn't eat anything. It's usually good we to all eat, have that. Eat we all yeah. get that. Yeah. You know. Something positive. But they So they couldn't fit on the same <laughs> first wheel. So the pictures of Big A on the first wheel by himself, they're up. On opianthony.com, it's pretty funny. Oh, there he goes. I'm looking at a picture of him uh, when they waving. started up. He's waving down. All right. That's great. So we have more audio. Now they're at Paisano's. They're at their table. <laughs> oh man, it's just the creepiest, saddest. Oh, this I is know. just horrific. <laughs> this was their big day. Starker Patty, you had fun on the first wheel. Yeah. Looking down I, at the world. Yeah. The thing is, I fear heights, so every time I got to the top, I had to shut my eyes because I didn't want to look how high. Ooh, she I got a little was. Oprah there. I had to shut, shut my eyes, eyes girl. Oh, <laughs> Let me tell you, girlfriend. Mm -hmm. All right. But it was a fun little mm. ride. Yeah. And he won you some stuff with the balloon thing. Yeah. You must be good at darts, Big A. That's not an easy game to win, right? Yeah, you shoot darts. I used to shoot darts, yeah. Yeah. Now he just shoots people. The, uh... <laughs> <laughs> I know. <laughs> All right. So now they're at Paisano's. They're at their table. So let's get into some of this audio so we can move the fuck on. <laughs> You're at Paisano's. What do you think of the setting? I think it's very uh, romantic, actually. Patty, what do you think? Very nice. Very nice. By all means, don't elaborate. Um, <laughs> so, uh, you got, are you going to take over the dinner? Are you going to order for the little lady and all that stuff? Mm, of course, yeah. yeah. Yeah, I will. Do you like that? Do you want to be a take-charge kind of guy? Oh, well, well you could, I could tell him what I want. He can order it. Ugh. She will have the linguine and white clam <laughs> <Yeah>. sauce. <laughs> I got to do big A, though. <laughs> Two cokes, no ice. <laughs> she will have the linguine. <laughs> hey, Rat, no matter wh wh where you are, <laughs> make it se seem like that's the p place to be. <laughs> Uh, 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 isn't this great? <laughs> <laughs> it's great. I'm happy for you, kids. Yeah, I really Nathan am. Nathaniel showing his uh, comedy chops there. That's why you're going to kick Harry's ass, by the way. That whole sarcastic. I love the sarcastic humor he has. I absolutely mean, love elaborate. it. Love it. Uh, so at this point, was there any romance? Was there any hand holding? Sparks, any... they call that. Anything you click in you two? Anything? Did you feel anything did, different did than you try to grab her thigh under the table? Anything like that? Playing footsie? Uh, no. Were you thinking about it though, Big A? Come on, thinking about making a move. Yeah. I was trying to hug her, but mm. she's always pulling away. Nah. Why are you pulling away, Patty? It's a hug. I know, but... It's a hug. Did, well, I don't want to say it. I got more action. Say from it. What was the problem? There's a slight breath problem, so I kind of like that. <laughs> that. I don't want to say anything. I'm very tactful. <laughs> I just could. Okay. 
All right, people. Yeah. We'll see you Monday morning <laughs> at 7 a.m. live no. here. It's the Opie and Anthony Show. Why would you discreetly tell them last night when you could tell them now in front of a national radio <laughs> audience? <I don't> <laughs> you are I tactful. Don't know. I, I don't say anything. I, I just keep my mouth shut. So, and he should too, apparently. <laughs> so, what the problem was with the hugging? That was the only thing, and I was. Was the, you would have hugged him more if uh, his breath was better. Yeah. Big A, did, did, has anyone ever told you? Now, obviously, it's, it's something you don't want to hear or anything, but mm -hmm. has anyone ever told you that maybe you have a, a problem? Um, yes. Uh, and, I, and I use uh, 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 you know, the Listerine. Um, uh -huh. When was the last time you went to a dentist? It's all about the dental floss, by the way. When it's did a, you go to dentist? It's rotting food in between the teeth. That causes the bad breath. But when was the last time? Brush the tongue. Brush the tongue. Yeah, that too. You scrape the tongue? tongue? With one of those things yeah. you're supposed to scrub your back with. <laughs> <laughs> when was the last time you were at a dentist, Anthony wants to know? Yeah. Yeah. Um, a couple of years. Of the, uh, a couple of years or a few yeah. years? A couple is two. If, it, if you're saying two, that means it's probably three or four, right? I'm thinking six years since you've been to a dentist. Yeah, let's be honest here today. Show's about honesty today. Last century? <laughs> was Patty, it, was Patty's it still wearing, the 1900s? Patty's wearing sweet honesty, so let's be honest. Yeah. All right. Here we go. Anything? Six years? Was it 1900s or 2000s? Who was president? Oh, good. Yeah. That leaves you a big window. It wasn't two years, was it? No. no. Yeah. It was a while. How long ago? You don't remember? Yeah. No. Which Bush was in office? No. Which? <laughs> Alexander. <laughs> Hague. <laughs> well, we're going to have to do something about that. You know? Because, yeah. you know, you're a nice guy. Mm -hmm. uh, his appearance last night was great. You know, they had the uh, shirt and the tie and everything like that. Yeah, I thought the, uh, the way he dressed up, I thought that was great. Yeah. Oh, right. You did the hair something. up and everything. He was all showered all night. But then, see what happens. And, uh, Big A, don't feel bad, because if you watch TV and you see all the products that are available and all the uh, people on the um, on the toothpaste commercials always talking about it, it's a widespread problem. So, you know, it's nothing to be embarrassed about. The worst thing is doing nothing about it at all. So what we got to do is uh, maybe uh, haul your ass upstairs uh, to the dentist and have him maybe poke around a little bit in there and see if you got some issues. Maybe you got some what they call uh, some of that decay, you know? It's like uh, when your teeth start rotting. You got any toothaches? Do you get toothaches? No. No, huh? <laughs> yeah. All right, let me, uh, let me go to Chris in Wisconsin. He has a quick comment. Go ahead, Chris. <laughs> oh, Jesus, guys. Make it stop. It's worse than the poker tip. This is so fucking uncomfortable. <laughs> we oh understand God, it's uncomfortable. Know. It's almost like an intervention, though. Interventions are not comfortable things. Uh, yes. Something oh, had man. to be said. It's better something is said now and we take care of it than it just keeps going. Right? You got to right. agree. That's right. Right? Patty, what do you think? Sure. Shut up. So so he was trying to hug you, Patty, and uh, you you didn't want it because of the breath? You know what it was like? Away. It was like watching a Pepe Le Pew cartoon. He's there trying to paw at the cat, <laughs> and she's constantly trying to get away because that green cloud <laughs> comes over. Please give me he, 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 a kiss. All right, so where was he trying to hug you? Around the vagina. No, no where in uh, the fair? Where were you? On the street? On the yeah. I think uh, we were like uh, on the street walking a couple times and stuff. And, and he tried to hug you, and you backed off. Yeah, like get a little bit intimidated by that. How Is it true he took Master Poe's advice though and bought the flower, but it wilted when he said <laughs> here? <laughs> he didn't. I didn't get a flower. No. No. Oh. No, that didn't happen. <laughs> Come on, Bill. Okay. This is fun. <laughs> no, Bill's horrified. Could do it, Bill. <laughs> I was talking last night. I was talking to my girlfriend last night, and I was saying, Bill is so much different than what this show is about. Yeah. Like he fits in perfectly, and I don't know why, because his whole thing, 
he's like such a nice guy. Yeah. And we are such scumbags, such despicable pieces oh, of shit. Oh, we get off on this stuff. And and Bill is like, you know, no, I can't. I, oh, <laughs> I can't but he it. fits perfectly. No, and to a, and he to caves to peer that pressure. Last, whoever just called in, this is just like, yeah, <laughs> stop the bleeding already. <laughs> <laughs> See, no, but that's what the show's about. Wow, is furrowing. We He's bleed them out animal. until there's no blood. Yeah, no, we, we keep going. How bad is his breath, uh, Stalker Pat? <laughs> Steve, I don't think there's a reason to go well, there. Well, we just want to know. You don't go to a dentist and quite. But what does it smell time. like? Like, how? You I know? don't know. I can't describe it. And I can't. Oh, I'm okay. not good at describing yeah. smells. Like hot, know. hot garbage. Sizzling and hot garbage. <laughs> no, just like a. Ah, pull off. Thank you, Otto and George. Just a, like a very subtle thing, you know. I guess. All right. Yeah. Well, now the now the gloves, the gloves are coming off now. Uh, big A. Well, did was there something about Patty that you didn't like? Maybe annoyed you a little bit. You got to fight back, Big A. She said something. you had really bad no. breath. I didn't say that. <laughs> like, she winced every time I touched her. No, you weren't wincing? No? No. Okay. All right, why don't we get to the, some more of this audio then? There was some hand-holding, though, as they walked down well, the street. Well, there was. Yeah. All right. Very good. So so here's maybe here something go. going on. I'm trying to salvage <laughs> something. Some ray of life. <laughs> Here's, uh, you guys are playing with fire. You realize this man could squeeze any one of us to death. <laughs> ah, I do to understand that. that. You're right, Big A. You You're feel right. a little bit. Yes. Yeah. You're right. Yeah. You hanging in there? I know. It's, it's a just tough feeling spot, a little badly. I think. Are because you? Of this. Yeah. Why? Who does it? Because you don't like hearing this stuff. Why? But in the end, you got to realize something, Big A. In the end, this is a good thing for you. We're going to take care of a problem. I say. Uh, we t uh, funnel some of that money away from the Katrina victims. He's got his game face on right now. I don't know if you've noticed. Yeah, I see. Yeah. And uh, maybe yeah. Uh, get you a little dental uh, uh, help there. Because that's all you need. You go up to a dentist. Well, do you ever see those makeover shows? It's so amazing what they do. And uh, they'll uh, fix your mouth up. And uh, no more uh, breath problems. And then Patty will be right in your arms. There you go. Yeah. All right, here One we go. Those hoses from the car wash as a water pit. <laughs> Jeez. Here's the, here's the lovely couple having some small talk at Paisano's. Double brush. Down there in Little Italy. All right. What time do you get off? I'm getting off at 5 tomorrow, and then I have bowling. I have to go to my league. What's your average? 140. Well, now it really went down because of this last week of bowling, but, you know, uh, I didn't bowl all summer, so I did three very low games because mm. I'm just getting started. Mm -hmm. You like bowling? It's a lull. I do. I you like, like it very bowling? much. I've been on leagues for years, and it's fun. And I haven't bowled it in a long, long time. You probably would do well at bowling. Shouldn't actually bowl. She's you know? a pin. What was your average? Uh, maybe like 170. Didn't Sean Penn maybe. make this movie? That was as a kid. I haven't bowled in in, in like years. You know, I haven't, I haven't bowled in a long, long time. Maybe sometime we could go bowling. That would be fun. I oh. would enjoy that. Oh, this is a second date oh, already. Nice. I see Nathaniel's going to be busy another night <laughs> at the bowling alley. So you guys going to go bowling? You think, Patty? I think it would be fun to go bowling. I always have to. I always practice alone, so it'd be good to practice with somebody else. Bowling would be good. Yeah. Right. Yeah. If things get a little rough for you, you could just put your nose over that thing that blows uh, air onto your hand. <laughs> <laughs> if things get a little rough, I mean. All right, more uh, small talk. We're going to try to move forward here now. Well, so then bowling, what do you like? Besides bowling, uh, I like doing puzzles and things from the paper, like all the crossword puzzles, the math puzzles, and the post. Um, the oh, number squares, number grids in the post in that section there. I I didn't know any. I I thought people just I don't know. Passed she by does that shit section. like that you did on a rainy day when there was no television. <laughs> <laughs> and that's her greatest night. I out. like to play jacks. <laughs> <laughs> jacks. <laughs> <laughs> 
<laughs> Pick up sticks. <laughs> You know, when she probably <laughs> runs around out in front of her apartment with that, that fucking wheel with the stick. <laughs> <laughs> and knocking a wheel down the street with this. St- <laughs> <laughs> All right, uh, Nathaniel, what's this? Analysis of a beautiful mind? <laughs> yeah, they. Uh, okay, I think you're doing a hell of a job, by the way. Yeah. Small talk. Seriously. Yeah, you know, she uh, likes bowling. Yeah, yeah. I, I've, I've had worse dates, believe me. <laughs> Get it to elaborate on the bowling a little Sure. I like the fact that. Um, uh, I guess it's Iraq. Are you popping those pictures up on this thing? Uh, when whenever they change subjects here with the sound clips, he'll pop up a picture that's relevant. So during that dialogue, yeah. we here have a picture of them at Paisano sitting there uh, eating. It's almost like watching a documentary, you know, with with the still pictures. Yeah. Like the Civil War documentary where they didn't have moving <laughs> pictures, so it's just stills. <laughs> documentary on the making of a horror film. <laughs> what? Yeah. yeah. What did you guys have to eat down there? What'd you have, uh, big guy? Um, had also buco. What's that? It's Italian for hot garbage. <laughs> 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 no, it's um. Is that a fish dish? No, it's a veal shank. Oh, veal! Oh, the oh, veal shank. That's really good. Yes, the man really knows stuff. how to order. Yes. Well, there's Here a photo go. of him shoving a huge <laughs> fork full in his mouth. That's a good one. And, Patty, what did you eat? Shrimp scampi. <laughs> <laughs> I love seafood. No matter what she says, after she says it, I want her killed. <laughs> I can't take her voice. Shrimp scampi. <laughs> All right. Like here, oh, look at that shot. <laughs> you can't tell if the food's going in or out. <laughs> look That's at the evil look on his eye. You are doing a number on that. All right, we're going to play this uh, analysis of A Beautiful Mind. Have you ever seen the movie Beautiful Mind? Yes, I have. I felt bad for that guy. And in the end, he's honored by the university, but he still sees those people. Dean Martin. (laughs) Yeah, do you know in the background? He chooses chooses to ignore him. Yeah, I know. What well, was really sad was when he thought he was giving the secret uh, thing, like mailing in the secret codes and stuff, and it wasn't really any code at all. It was just a piece of, you know, just an envelope. No, going it nowhere. wasn't. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Wow. Guys, uh. Out talking over the, the movies. That's good, though, on a date. A lot of dates. Uh, but out of all the movies to discuss, they're discussing a beautiful mind. <laughs> What? I think that's a very interesting I, movie. I, can think I like of that one. Many other movies they should be discussing. I like that movie. That was a good one. They should be Pain discussing no, never Bambi. Mind. Nothing. <laughs> 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 All right, they have a discussion on dancing, Nathaniel. Yeah, they're talking about going to the 2U concert, and all right, et cetera. Uh, We're going out um, bunch of two of you. It's the red line, right? Yeah. <laughs> that should be of fun down here. Yeah. Hopefully it should be a more lively crowd. Some of their crowds are not so lively, but it should be a lot of fun. And, um, promise me to do a little dancing. Oh. A little dancing. Come on. <laughs> Come on, Patty. There you right, go. We'll Close the deal. Yeah. Cha, cha, cha. Cha, cha, cha. Cha, cha, cha. How fucking old are you? I'm <laughs> sorry. 23 <laughs> skadoo. <laughs> Should I put it another way? She's doing that thing where you put your hands on your kneecaps and cross them as you <laughs> put your knees together. And, uh, if he showed up in a raccoon coat, he would have got laid. Scoodly wah. Wow. Oh my God. This is this is YouTube music. This is not cha-cha music. This is YouTube music. See, even Big A knows. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, I mean. Well, hop and bop. Hop uh, and bop. She moved it up to the fifties. She moved it up. Every 
Everybody do the varsity drag. Everybody do the varsity drag. <laughs> oh, horrid. How the fuck do you know that? It was on a cartoon with the talking frog. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Forget Aristotle. Oh, that really isn't Socrates. Professor. Here comes Professor Anthony. Yeah, it is. You know a little bit about everything. Oh, thank you. It's just a wasted childhood right. in front of a lot of Warner Brothers cartoons. All right. Uh, Big A looking for a lady in the tramp moment. Nathaniel, want to explain this before uh -oh. we play the audio? Well, we were toying with the idea of getting that, that nice photo. Oh. <laughs> where they <laughs> Look at Patty's face. I where, don't... <laughs> where there's a, a noodle. And we don't know where what's happening in the middle of the plate, but as they eat it, you know, it gets closer and closer, and they're sharing the same noodle, and maybe they touch mouths. Right? <laughs> well, we all remember the scene. That's just wonder that's Isn't that wonderful. That's adorable. And Big A would nose over a meatball, and it would be romantic. <laughs> yeah. Remember in the movie, the dog, like, n takes his nose and pushes the meatball over to the, the girl dog, and, and she's all happy. In this case, uh, <laughs> Patty would nose over some mouthwash. <laughs> <laughs> no, so so the spaghetti. So how did that work out? Why uh, would well, you do that, Patty? She explains. Said, oh, she explains on the tape. Yeah, uh, on the tape. Listen <laughs> to me. I'm, I'm pulled back another century. <laughs> on the tape, Big A. Big A brings it up and she reacts. All right. <laughs> what are you proposing, Big A? Do <laughs> like Lady in the Tramp, but I can't do that. <laughs> no. <laughs> no, why not? Because I'm not like that with food. I mean, I think it could be a very cute picture. Yeah. No. I don't really want to do that. <laughs> you don't have to kiss Patty. You can just... No. No. I can't. I'm sorry. No. We'll put a crust in a clown mask on you. <laughs> no. no, I don't want to eat out of somebody's <laughs> mouth. I can't do that. <laughs> That's what they were doing in the film. Uh, Patty, I would eat. I would have my half. You have your half. No, 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 no. No, that's cute. I can't do that. No, <laughs> I'm sorry. But the guy's got to get some props for trying to close the deal. Oh, yeah. yeah, without a doubt. You're aggressive. I like that. But now, Patty. Didn't you understand that they didn't want you to do exactly like the movie if you didn't want to and go right up to the end? It would amount to no. one piece of spaghetti, one end in your mouth, yeah, one end in his mouth, and then you could yucky. Then you could spit it no, out. That, that but it's not geez. touching. You stupid fuck! Are you <laughs> listening to me? I am. It's like it's like taking a string, putting one end in your mouth, one end in someone else's mouth. How is that affecting you? It skeeves me. I'm sorry. How does it skeeve me? You're not even eating it. It's the same piece of food. Ew. No. I want... It doesn't I, have electricity in it, though. It's not going to get up. No. Germs. Like, no. I'm a germaphobe. I'm but like there's that. no germs crawling. They're not like an no. army marching across the fucking bridge over the River Kwai oh, into your mouth. What the fuck? Are you? It, it's, it's just... And then you spit it out for the Ew. picture. No. No. Oh my God! I want. I, <laughs> I'm like I hold can't. Hold me back. <laughs> hold me back. I want to kill her. <laughs> I'm sorry. I can't deal with that. <laughs> sorry. I get very sensitive with the the ski factor. You know, germs like germs, and, yeah, stuff like that. I'm yeah. like very uh. All right, Tom. What about kissing? Do you kiss people you're not on the mouth? Dealing with food that you're eating. You know. I'm the type that sanitizes machines. You know, and stuff. You sanitize machines? Just walking around, you do that? What do you <laughs> No, when I used to sell That's coffee funny. at the place, I would flush it with hot water five <laughs> times every morning to get rid of the taste of the coffee from the day before so that it was coming out fresh coffee. You know, that's, yeah, that's how I am. That's you want to go for the coffee. No shit. For the fucking lunatic. Let, let me go to Tom in New Hampshire. Go ahead, Tom. I am. Good morning, gentlemen. Hey, Tom. Hey. Good morning, you red-headed bastard, you. Oh, hey. <laughs> <All right. laughs> warming up uh, to you yeah hey this morning i was flicking the tv around eating breakfast i came across of mice and men with john malkovich and gary sinise yeah right at the scene when they were in the barn and john malkovich was touching the girl and uh she didn't want him to and he she started to scream he jumped up grabbed her and broke her neck by accident and i was thinking that's probably the way this date was going to end but i see she made it home alive so you, well, okay. Thank you, Tom. 
Sorry. <laughs> I, sometimes I get so excited because, like, it says on the screen, Tom, they should have discussed mice and men. Of mice and men. Of, of mice course. and men. I'm thinking, wow, what a great phone call to go to. It'll be quick, fast, nice. And then he just goes all over yeah. the road and finally gets to the point and it's... Yeah, how about that hurricane? <laughs> <Right>. <laughs> Wait, what the fuck? Help us out. All right, um, we only have two clips left. I, I like this. Patty didn't want to do the Lady and the Tramp thing with the spaghetti. It's too bad. You would have enjoyed that, right, Big A? Of course. Of course. Um, the meal is very good. The company is even better. Good food, a, a great company. How's the company for you, Patty? Very good. What have you guys been talking about? This and that. <laughs> Little things, you know. What were we talking about? <laughs> it must be the wine. <laughs> How much wine have you had here? Oh, uh, three quarters of a glass. <laughs> wow. <laughs> three quarters. Nah, I was just staring at it. <laughs> three quarters. The aroma. Three quarters. Oh, wow. <laughs> You're a lush. Which to me is a lot. <laughs> yeah. Are you starting to feel tipsy? No. Starting to feel like I could use some nice cappuccino. Oh. Bring me back down to earth. How about you, you Big A? How's it, how are you feeling? I'm uh, feeling all right. Not bad. I had about two glasses of wine, but I feel a little right. Wow, this is just so exciting. <laughs> it's not Big A's fault, though. He's He's been trying to make it happen. I, he's, yep. he's saying I, positive. I give a lot of props to Big A today. <clears throat> yeah, he he's working trying. it. You could tell he's had a little bit of wine. So he's loosened up a little. He's willing to take some risks, yeah, good some food, chances. Company's even better. Right. Good mm -hmm. line. Right. And then Patty's sitting uh -huh. there. Uh, Trying to build his self-esteem back up from the ashes. <laughs> Three quarters of a glass of wine in her. All right. She needs something to bring her back to earth. <laughs> good luck. <laughs> Jesus. A I cappuccino. Had, I had a Red Bull. <laughs> <laughs> I'd love to see her on a Red Bull. A Red Bull and vodka. It's wonderful. It doesn't have any effect on me. I drank a can of Red Bull. It doesn't make me hyper. No? No. Hmm. Can't believe that. All right. Here's the date wrap-up. <sighs> ah, the wrap-up. And everyone is wondering, will there be a second date? Well... Nathaniel, man, we don't pay you enough. I just realized that. Yeah, spread the word. <laughs> spread the word. <laughs> How awful was this to you? Um... It was, I just hope I can log the hours, let's put it that way. <laughs> <laughs> all right, Patty, so you're finished with your evening. How's it, how'd, the, uh, how'd it go? How'd the date go? It was a lovely evening, and I enjoyed it. No, it was very nice. It was very nice. The meal was wonderful. The company was wonderful. We hey. had a very good time. Okay. Uh, actually, same as Patty, um, the... the uh, uh, the meal was great. Uh, um, and, uh, and, hang, and, and hanging out with Patty uh, was very nice. We got to know each other a, a little better, and we, you know, found out information about each other. And I think it went very well. What's the most interesting thing you found out about Patty? Uh, uh, she's afraid of heights. <laughs> I am. And what did you find out about Big A? Um, he has fun on the Ferris wheel. He won me a nice stuffed animal. I didn't have a seal, so now I do. So, as it is right now, will there be a second date, Patty? Sure, I could. Yeah, we could. You know, have fun together. Yeah, I enjoy his company. Big A. Yes, definitely a second they were talking about either we were thinking about either the you know, either the comedy cellar, bowling or uh, doing something together. Alright, wow. I like after a two hour long date uh dinner, Patty has learned that Big A likes the Ferris wheel. <laughs> <laughs> I, I was my mind went blank. 
Yeah, uh, yeah. that happens, doesn't it? <laughs> we can relate to that. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, But you'll go bowling or something, right? Yeah, because yeah. right. I like the ball. Mm-hmm. So these guys walk past me um, after their dinner at Paisano's. Yeah, we were you were holding hands. What? Oh, was that fake or was that real? Um, what happened? Uh, she was too drunk. <laughs> oh, nice. No, we were just on our way to uh, the uh, go down to the village, you know, to the red line from there, and uh, shook his cock. No. <laughs> but you were holding hands. Yeah, we, yeah. They, they, I guess I don't know. I guess maybe I don't know. It was where you tell. Uh, you know, I don't know. Maybe to just did you grab her like hand there, Stalker Patty? Uh, uh, Big A. Uh, yes, uh, I did. And she had no problem uh, holding on to your hand. That's kind of cool, yeah. right? And then, you went, then you went and saw uh, Two You, Anthony's yes. brother's uh, band, that does a great job at the U Two thing. Who were you tonight? The Kit Kat Club. And I guess we got it. Uh, I don't know what happened at the end of the night. I guess U <laughs> Two's over. Then, yeah. Then what? What happens? How does this completely end? How do you part ways? Where is it? What happens? Uh, he called his friend that he <coughs> works for at the cab, and they came and got us and made sure I was safely to my door. So you got to your uh, uh, apartment yeah. building. Yeah. And did uh, Big A get out of the car to escort, <coughs> escort you to the door? They wanted to, but I told them it's not necessary. The door's right there, and the doorman's right oh inside. Boy. I'm fine, so I went up by myself. Boy. Now, Patty. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you know what that means. You know what you the signal you threw out there. No. We know exactly why you didn't want to have him walk you to the door. Because that's... That's a... Uh, because that that means you didn't want to kiss. As Big Kev nods off nods. in the corner, <laughs> Bill's just looking on. Like he points, I'm like, look at him. Uh, that wasn't on my mind. I was just, you know, the doorman's right there. There's no need to escort me up the stairs. Don't you understand? <laughs> wait, 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 wait. You don't understand. It's not that there's no need. There's probably never a need for the guy to walk the girl to the door. Yeah, it's part of the dating ritual. It's how it ends. The bitch could certainly walk herself. Right. I mean. <laughs> but there's that. There's the walk to the door. Then there's because that's the private moment that you get to say, "I had a great evening. Maybe we can do this again. Right. Uh, have a good night." And then the kiss comes. And, yeah, uh, Big A, were you pissed, you know? Were you, you a little winder, pissed? You dined. Uh, right. Um, a little bit. A little bit. See, there a little disappointed. Because yeah. the whole you day... Be, right? You win her a, yeah. win her a, a yeah. fucking seal, right? Right. Yep. We're not asking throw for the balloon. Throw a couple drinks not. down and throw Yeah. And, and, Can't and, even walk him to the door? Jesus. Oh, I'm sorry, I didn't know that was part of things. You huh. want the uh, you want the uh, the ending of the date because you know, that's on his mind the whole time. Right. You get the kiss. The, you get the little kiss in, and then Stark and Patty, you go, "Hey, would you like to come in for a nightcap? You want to come up for a cup of coffee? And then you sit him down. I on made your... some beer in the bathtub. <laughs> this prohibition is <laughs> 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 Then you, he sits down on the couch. You get, uh, oh. you go into another room and get into something more comfortable. I got no. some corn squeezins. <clears throat> Maybe some. You want to come up for a shot? Maybe some old-fashioned lingerie. You know. Why yeah. don't you sit out here while I put on something a little more cute for you, the <laughs> <laughs> bull? And then you come out in your other pair of shorts that look just like those pair of shorts. <laughs> That's all you own. Just say head over to a speakeasy. <laughs> I know the password. <laughs> and then next thing you know, you're bumping uh, uglies. Right. That's how it works. Well, it's only the first date. Well. You no. Know. All right, so there was no goodbye kiss. Not even a good. He tried. Did you say that you were going to get out? Did you attempt to get out? What happened? Um, I asked her, are you sure? She says, yes, I am. Oh, I thought they were just concerned for my safety. No, how about about she gets out? Why did you ask? Why not just get out of the car with her? As she gets out, you follow her and and go to a door. 
tackle her into some shrubs. <laughs> <laughs> there are no shrubs in my building. Oh. You didn't. Uh, you, you shouldn't ask. You don't ask. Mm -hmm. Well, in Big A's defense, he had been getting negative signs all evening. And I don't doubt he it. Might have been a little he timid. He kept the tone real positive. Yeah, you did. <laughs> yes. He did. He did everything he uh, could, but there was uh, no romance at the end of the night, huh? All right. Wow. Stalker Patty, um, would you go out with Big A? Yes, as a Not friend. Uh, as a uh, friend. So yeah, at this moment, do fun things together. All right, Stalker Patty, uh, turn to Big A and tell him you just want to be friends. You know, just want to be, you know, friends. I like your company. I like people. You know, I like, you know, I'm always doing things alone. I like to do things with other people. It's more fun that way. So there'll never be a kiss at the door. Uh, I don't know. Never say never. You don't know. I don't know what the future is. No, but you yeah. just want to be friends. You got to right cut her out. Now, now. This you cut her out. Don't, right now, don't take her call. She's just going to use you, man. Oh, yeah. No. Dinner. Yes. And, yeah. Big yeah, A, what do you have to say to that? Like that? What do you have to say to the fact that you spent all that time. <laughs> for, for, for. <laughs> <laughs> what do you. Oh. Say something to Starker Patty. Turn to her and, and, uh, and uh, respond to that. Don't be afraid, man. Let the anger yeah, go, go, man. Get the anger out. Yeah. You're allowed. You're allowed, man. This Fucking is Fucking pissed, man. Yeah. I'm pissed for you. Yeah, come on. Strangler. <laughs> <laughs> Do us all a favor. Jesus. I can't do that. No. All right. No, of course not. Just, uh, you know, let her know. Let her know. Right now. Yeah. He's about it. how you feel about the friendship thing. You're talking for a lot of guys out there right now. True. We've all gotten a friend speech. Yep. Oh. Why can't we be, 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 be more than friends? Hmm. It's still too early. I gotta get to know you better. Uh, you know, I'm not. What a I don't. Cook. I'm not that fast with me. Yeah. Everything has to happen slowly. You know. <laughs> you know. First you go through the friend stage, and then you know if anything's gonna happen, there's little offshoots from there. You know. Offshoots. That's how it happens. I think it just progresses naturally. Sweet. <laughs> Go ahead, Big A. Come on, Big A. Do it. Do it. Tell her. Go. Tap into the Tell her how you feel. Come on. Come to the dark side. That's right. Be honest. Go ahead, Big A. This is your moment. Don't let us guys down. There's a lot of us counting on you right now. They're out there. Um. Uh, fuck you, bitch. Yeah! Oh! 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 Big A! Wow. Big A, throw him down the gauntlet! Sorry. There you go. Wow. You leave with your fucking manhood intact. Good man. Oh, there you go. Woo! Big A. Yeah. Big A, you, wow. you, you turned a major corner. I'm proud Holy of you. Holy shit. There you go. Shit. Oh, there we go. Nice. <laughs> That's right. That's I'm how you do sorry. it. That is fantastic. <laughs> I play the walking away music, Anthony. So sorry. Yeah. That's it, man. It's over. Feels One good, and done. Don't you, Big A, huh? Got a little jolt yeah. when you said it? Yeah, that we'll, was good. We'll set you up with a whore. We Don't do, worry. We just saved a random stra uh, stranger from getting strangled. <laughs> right. <laughs> All right. Stalker Patty, any final words about this whole thing? Sorry, I'm just yes, not that are. fast of a person. Fast. I go slow. Slow. You didn't let walk me to the door. The fucking well, hurricane moves faster than you. I didn't know that's what you were supposed to do. <laughs> I thought it was only a safety factor, and I was perfectly safe. Oh, stop it. You, if they you knew anything about me, dating. You know. You, you know it's because you don't know anything about dating. <laughs> Gay. You know, they were watching me as I went up there to make sure I was okay, and I was appreciated. That's what people uh, are. This wasn't damn. going anywhere. Sorry. All right. Well, that's that. That's you should have. Uh, you should have. Uh, I don't Big know. Big A, you made my day. That's yeah. right. All right, Patty, leave. Both of you. <laughs> and Big A, final words here. Any final words? Don't fuck it up, man. Just walk on that. Yeah, you don't need it. You don't need yeah. to say anything. You, yeah. you said it all, Big A. You need no follow up. Credits are rolling. You don't need yep. to say shit. Walk out of the studio That's with right. your head held high. That's so we don't have to smell your breath. <laughs> oh, God. Oh, God. <laughs> Look at those shorts. Wow. There they go. 
There is potential, but it's over, Johnny. It's over. <laughs> wow. <laughs> oh. Ah, I want to thank Paisano's and Mulberry Street for helping us out with this fine little thing. Absolutely. I went down there last night, absolutely had a great time and uh, some great, great food once again. I want to thank Joey and the gang down there for treating me uh, real well. And the Lysol has come out to spray out, spray down the seats. It's Paisano of Mulberry Street in the heart of Little Italy. they got the San Gennaro feast going on uh, through the weekend. Yes. It's a perfect time to go down there between fall and, uh, and the festival. Mm -hmm. So go down there. The portions are huge. They take care of you. Um, every single pasta on the menu is now under $10. Here's the deal. Paisano, if you go in there, mention XM Radio or Opie and Anthony, you get a free glass of wine from us. And I Joey, just need three quarters of it. And Joey likes uh, hearing from people that are out of state that happen to come to New York and, and stop by the restaurant. So yeah. if you are there because of the show and you're from another state, you're, you know, write a little note so Joey could uh, find out uh, where you guys are coming from, okay? Right. It, it really is a great place. We've been there, God, I don't even know, at least 100 times. Open weekends till 2 a.m. Paisano of Mulberry Street in the heart of Little Italy between Grant and Hester. Call 212-965-1188. That's 965-1188. It's Paisanos of Mulberry Street. That was uh, quite an hour of radio. Wow. I'm stunned. But Big A pulling it out at the end like that. Fuck you, bitch. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I think he even he didn't even make those noises. He just no, said it. No, he just blurted it out. Mm -hmm. You don't want to hear that just friend speech. Oh, people are screaming on the instant feedback going, way to go and all that. All night long. It just gets frustrating after Hanging a while. out with Patty, thinking maybe, maybe at the end of the night, something. A kiss. That was like that hacky moment in all those police academy movies. <laughs> Don't move, dirtbag! Right. And then the <laughs> crowd around. <laughs> what? Woo! Yeah! He did it! And Big A's thinking, Jesus, it's bad enough that I have to go out with twos, but now I have to go out with a two that's a prude? That wants uh, to be a friend? On what planet does that uh. happen? Horrendous. <laughs> <laughs> uh, just a little more proof. There is no God. Uh, of course, we had Katrina. Uh, now we got Hurricane Rita chasing the evacuees away. Please well, tell me there's another one coming. Uh, no, Opie. Oh. There was a busload of elderly evacuees leaving Houston to get away from the hurricane. Uh, the bus has exploded 20 dead. They must have done something evil when they were younger. You're running from the storm. You're a bus full of elderly and you know the elderly, they're praying like crazy about, the, you know, the hurricane and everything. Right. Ah, bus explodes. 20 dead. Uh, there you go. All right, we got to take a break. We got Tara Reid audio. We got um, some more talk on Hurricane Rita. We got, I uh, got to talk about the pilot that had that amazing landing the other day. Uh, also, it's more like dentist. More movie trailers. We have an assault on the media. From Buffalo. Buffalo might have uh, taken out Boston and Philly as far as the assault on the media contest goes for September. We'll get into that in a few minutes. And uh, and other things. Derek, get us out of here. Ow, I just bit my tongue. <laughs> ah, we're back with the Opie and Anthony program. A couple quick phone calls. We'll move on to other things. John in uh, New Orleans. John. Hi, guys. What are you up to? You have time to call a radio show? <laughs> it's not bad. This ain't nothing compared to what happened uh, two weeks ago. Yeah, well, uh, the, you guys have got tropical storm warning or something, right? Yeah, but that's nothing. No big deal. With the weak levees? <laughs> this is like the expert that they don't want on the news. Right. Nah, it's fine. It's not really that bad. Shut up. Shut up. The levees. We, we need uh, people to think the levees are going to break so they'll watch longer. Well, they tried that yesterday, so... Dude, CNN blew it. I'm, I'm telling you, I'll say it again. When that that Jet Blue thing was happening, I was it. I was. They had me. Then they had this expert on CNN saying, "Ah, this is gonna be really no big deal when it when it comes uh, down to it." And I was gone. And then I moved to the next station where Fox was keeping me hooked by saying, "Oh no, this thing could cartwheel down the runway." That's what I want to hear when I'm watching this shit. Because I don't give a fuck about those people. I wanted to see a live plane crash. Am I the only one? Am I the only one? No, oh, it was exciting with the flames and stuff, but then it was like... You were hoping the engines would catch on something. fire? Something, yes. Yeah. I wanted to see the big blow-up slide, at least. I wanted to see at least the uh, nose wheel collapse, the nose hit the runway, and then a lot of sparks come shooting out. Yeah. And then everybody's cool. Maybe it turns a little. Because Fox and, <laughs> Fox and MS, MSNBC, they're like, 
you know, there's a possibility they're going to have to just land on the belly of the plane. I'm like, nice! Yeah. And I go to CNN and they're like, oh, no, the back landing gear is totally fine. And uh, they, he's just going to have to keep the nose up. And this is going to be pretty boring. Yeah, it's going to be nothing. for this shit. It's and like driving the car on your rim for a little while. the same way both of them talk about terrorists. Fox News, they're in your backyard. And then you see it. It's totally overblown. <laughs> Nothing. Yeah. During the uh, the beginning of the war in Iraq over there, they mm-hmm. had uh, Fox and CNN uh, both places, <laughs> and their big guy, their go-to guys, were there uh, talking about the same situation, and it was a suspected missile attack on Kuwait. Right. And the Fox guy had a helmet on, and a gas mask. And the sirens are going off, and he's got this w- looking around look on his face. Uh, well, we're here. The alarms, as you hear them now, uh, I must get to a shelter. It is, uh, a- a- and you're watching, going, oh my God, this guy's going to get blown up, right? I switched to CNN. The guy's there. He's just standing on. The sirens in the background, many of these have just been false alarms, uh, as this one is. Uh, we're expecting an all clear. I've already heard that there is no incoming. Click back to Fox. The Fox guy is dressed <laughs> up like he's walked on. off the set of MASH. And he's all dressed up. with. It's, it's so different, the stations, and it's so much fun going back and forth. Yeah. Fox always has those questions, too. What are those people thinking right now? And there's an expert that knows what they're thinking. What they're actually thinking. Well, they're sitting there in their seats, um, very worried about the situation. Oh, that's good. <laughs> I didn't think they'd be worried until you told me. Brian Regan has the best bit on, you know, what were you thinking? You know, because they always ask the stupid question about what were they thinking, and you know what? Oh, the thinking. evil Knievel bit, yeah, right? Evil Knievel bit. Maybe yeah, we can find that going into break or something. Jumps over uh, the thing at Caesar. Uh, so, John, you want because uh, your phone was crapping out? You want to start a uh, Big A Get Laid Fund? Yeah, I'll donate forty bucks to the Get Big A Laid Fund. Uh, maybe one of our fine listeners will just uh, throw Big A a bone. I think we should uh, start the Big A uh, Molars and Bicuspid <laughs> Fund first before we uh, before we go to getting them laid. There's <laughs> uh, a very fine Hi, dentist John. right upstairs. Yeah. Uh, perhaps he could go up there and maybe the uh, guy could poke around. I'm a huge I think Big A to... fan now. I'm a huge Big A fan. The guy is, uh, what a set of balls. Yeah. All After all that shit, yep. he took so much shit. He was hoping for so much. She blows him off. Mm-hmm. She's going to use him for more free dinners. The becomes friends. Door. What a dope. Just to pump the guy's ego up a little bit. Let him walk into the door. Tell him, oh, I had a good night. Nothing. I'm fine. No, it's safe. You sure? You don't need to walk? No, everything's fine. She's just inept. She's a moron. I'm full. It was a good mm-hmm. evening. It was very good. Oh, a burning old people. That's, That's great. That's Thank you, wonderful. CNN. Thank you. That's what I need with my morning coffee. A bus on fire with uh, 45 people burning to death. Jeez. You know, they're just like the walkers and the canes down the aisle. It's on fire. It's just, you know they're not getting off that bus. <laughs> but I'll be on... Ch- it, it just, <laughs> but you just know. A bus doesn't just go kaboom unless there's a bomb on it. If a bus starts on fire... You probably have a little bit of time to get off. That's probably one of those uh, oxygen. <laughs> oh, all the oxygen tanks that they <laughs> get out of the way, coming through, huh? And one of these old guys decided he needed a cigarette. Great, yeah. we're all fucking using oxygen here. Can you we're wait? All, we're all having a D-Day flashback. <laughs> <Right>. <laughs> <laughs> but I still believe in God. I'll be at church on Sunday. There you go. That's right. Mm-hmm. I'll be singing and. Kneeling and waving and whatever else you do. What is that? A Fox News alert? Some guy saying water gushing into New Orleans' ninth ward. Uh, another one. New Orleans is flooding again. That's Fox. That means somebody left the faucet on. Schwung. <laughs> 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 we go to Fox. This CNN shit is boring me. Yeah, you got to put Fox on. Let's go to Jack in Oklahoma City. Jack, what's up? What's up, Jack? Hey, go. Yeah. All right, buddy, your phone sucks. So uh, basically, he uh, j- just a lot of Big A fans checking in, saying, "Way to go, Big A!" So uh, the JetBlue pilot, front page of the Daily News, Captain Cool, Captain Cool. Now we had an image of this guy just based on uh, you know him bringing the plane in, everyone safe, cool pilot Scott Burke. And you look, and um, eh, he doesn't quite fit the bill. Doesn't quite look like that pilot we had envisioned, does he? Race Bannon. <laughs> kind of has a uh, Jerry Seinfeld look to him. A little like Jerry Seinfeld as a chiropractor. Very neat. 
Look at his hat. Very well groomed. Well, they're all well groomed, which is nice when you see the pilot walking through the airport and they got that like brand new haircut. That's what you want. I, I love some pilots. slob in there. I love the pilots at the bar, and you just wonder: Are they done what? for the day? <laughs> right. Or do they got the cross country <laughs> flight? Hopefully, <laughs> hopefully, hopefully you you're done. Eight hours. You do wonder though. That's yeah, how they you like feel it. Fucking make it just. Where are we going again? <laughs> 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 With a pitcher of beer, they love their pitchers. Uh, one thing I'm very surprised about, he um, he goes on a message board. There's a pilot message board, airline pilot central message board, and they all post. And they had um, some posts here in uh, the Daily News. Uh, Gordon said, "Good luck. You're on approach, and I know this will turn out just fine." I guess this is as they're posting uh, as it's happening. And Gordon again, right on center line, baby. Well done. As the reporter just said, couldn't be more perfect. The SWA captain, nose gear. We don't need no stinking nose gear. Well done, gents. Uh, Freight dog. Freight dog. Congrats to the crew for the professional handling of this emergency. Yeah. I got goosebumps watching it live. And then why does old gravy leg say that co pilot sucks? <laughs> he should be replaced. <laughs> <laughs> don't. Don't encourage the pest to go on this <laughs> website. But then they have uh, Me <laughs> Worry, Me Worry, right. which is the pilot. It's the guy. He says, thanks, gents, for all the positive comments. Crew did a great job. What, is he sending that on his BlackBerry while he's landing? Or? Yeah, as he's landing. Dude, this is fucked up, <laughs> huh? Because <laughs> everyone loves the message boards now. You know what I, Dude, I can't believe it. You know what I take from this? He knew everyone was watching, and he knew his... Uh, his uh, his uh, his fellow pilots were watching. The of whole course. industry was watching. This motherfucker made sure he landed exactly on the line. He did too. It was that wheel. What was left of it stopped on the paint. It was on the line. Uh, Stupid and me. Knew. I'm thinking ah, as long as he gets it on the on the runway. No, he maybe knew. one of the mains go on the grass a little bit, make it dramatic. He's yeah. like, I Three, know. Three, four this people is die. Yeah. Thumbs up. Good move. Thumbs up. People died, and we don't want to say that, you know, that's a good thing. We would hope that no one would die, but three people did die. But the pilot, what a hero this guy is, saving everybody. This guy saved everyone. Right. No deaths, center line. People on the plane said it was the smoothest landing they've ever had. They've had rougher landings that were just regular landings. Right. What a nerd. Look at this. He's got his well, white, that's what, white socks yanked all the way up to his knees. Pulled all the way up to his that's knees. That's the point I was going to make. You know, you finally uh, you get your moment in the sun. You know, you finally make your 15 minutes of fame. You're going to be all over the all over the papers with this heroic thing you did, right? And the picture they find is of you and your wife on vacation in South Carolina, and you have white socks pulled all the way up to your knees, and you're wearing shorts. Uh, my socks are um, up to their cruising altitude of <laughs> one inch below the knee. They'll be remaining here until I go to bed, uh, when they will begin their descent down to the ankle and off the foot. That's what you placed for the Lakers in 82. <laughs> it's Kurt Rambis. Kurt Rambis landed the plane. <laughs> I just love how it turned into a commercial after they landed. Because oh. Did you see MSNBC? Yeah. The coverage on MSNBC, they evidently had a couple of employees of NBC Universal that were on yep. that flight. On the plane. And they had them on the phone, and they were saying, yes, we were all watching MSNBC on the plane because it had the top coverage of the event. And it, I was like... They oh, were no. plugging their own channel because it's available on JetBlue on the seats. Nothing about Fox or CNN that's also available on that. Everyone was watching MSNBC. And I was thinking, boy, these have to be some high-level employees if they're flying fucking JetBlue. Yeah, you where's know, the first class? <laughs> there is no first, <laughs> no, no, first no, no. class on JetBlue. JetBlue rocks, though, man. They throw the food at you and stuff. They have a... F a fun atmosphere. I'm a little too fancy. Don't for you have Jeff to buy Bill. the food? Don't you have to buy? I think you well, have to buy. Well, they throw the peanuts at you. They, they give you snacks. They <laughs> do a lot of joking. The pilot even jokes. It's all yeah. you know, fun and games. I you saw the pilot come out once and help somebody put their overhead bag. The pilot there helping stow. I don't want to see that shit. I want him in there going, check, check, checks. This system's fine. Everything. Not uh, uh, checking people's baggage. Yeah. I Southwest like is real the worst at that. Like they make so many jokes. It's like, dude, I want a little professionalism. Here. <laughs> right. I want it all professional. People doing open mics over the. <laughs> over the <laughs> <laughs> They're doing airline <laughs> jokes. It's like, <laughs> come on, people, back me up. 
Why are you going to Vegas? They're making Vegas jokes. It's just... <laughs> That's great. They were giving away, I forgot what even airline this was, but once I think we were going down to the Bahamas, and the pilot, or the, I guess the first officer, was, was doing a contest with mm -hmm. the crowd, asking people, okay, who's from the furthest place away than our destination? Uh, we'll take licenses, and the first person that, uh, or the person that's fur furthest away will win a, it was a bottle of wine they were giving away. And the fucking co pilot is running a game show <laughs> during the flight. I was a little taken aback by that. I don't want to hear that. Um, do you remember when we went to Turks and Caicos the first time? No, I was hammered. Well, the whole plane was hammered. Do you yeah. remember that? Yes, I do. It was like a booze, uh, just a booze, booze flight. A booze flight. A booze cruise at thirty-five thousand feet. And then they lost control. The the stewardesses and whatever. They just couldn't control the, the passengers anymore. And then there was one guy. Were you on this flight, or maybe it was another time? Went down there. A guy stands up and buys the entire plane around. Wow. Were you yeah. on that flight? I was the guy. No, nah, no. Nah, nah. <laughs> Some New York dude is like, you know, all of a sudden, like, he stumbles to the microphone, and the stewardess is like, yeah, no problem, because I think she was drinking, too. Ah, pre-9-11. Wasn't <laughs> it great? Those were the days, weren't they? This was a <laughs> the guy took the controls, the pilot went out, he fucking... A, this was a party flight, though. All of a sudden, he's on the freaking mic, and he goes, I have an announcement to make. I want to buy the whole uh, plane a, a drink. And everyone starts cheering. And then the, the stewardesses come walking down and, and taking everyone's order. Nowadays, you'd be like, I got an announcement to make. I got and 15 <laughs> rugby players would be on the guy sitting on him until he died. Yeah. Anyway, so I'm happened? down with his own belt. I was trying to take over the fucking cockpit. My buddy flew Hooters Air once. He said that was abysmal. I will How's never that? fly he, he said, Hooters it, Air. They do the same thing, like trivia. You know, they got like the, the dopey chicks doing the trivia oh, or whatever. No. He said there was just like the entire back of the plane shit face <laughs> no, screaming no. to every answer. 69! Why? <laughs> 69. <laughs> and are, are the uh, stews all walking around in those stupid shorts? No, they're not allowed to. Why they, is that? Uh, there's some FAA regulation. So the there's an FAA regulation about the bad Hooters uniforms. <laughs> Can't dress like a whore. <laughs> Section. Yeah. The Hooters girls just kind of like walk around and tell jokes. and Probably those bad tights they have that let off toxic smoke if they're on fire. <laughs> those awful fucking thick... Whatever they are, denim pantyhose yeah. they're wearing. It's time to upgrade the uniform a little bit. Please. Let's go to John in Georgia. John? Hey, what's up, uh, Open Hat? Hey, hey, man. Hey, man, there's a big cover-up on the uh, JetBlue flight. Uh, I actually heard that the pilot and the co-pilot had the fish and got a little sick. And actually, this passenger, Ted Stryker, I think <laughs> was his name, had to get up and fly the plane. Was With, it Ted uh, Stryker? Elaine. Yeah, Ted Stryker, man. He landed that plane. I hear he had a drinking problem, though. Yeah, he did, man. He kept talking about Macho Grande. <laughs> <laughs> He'll never get over Macho, Macho Grande. Grande. <laughs> all right, punch it out, boys. I love that movie. Good that luck. We're all counting on you. I haven't seen that movie in a while. You think it holds up? Nah. You don't think? A couple of lines are funny still, but yeah. on the whole, it doesn't really hold up. Justin right. in New York, what's up? What's up? Got a quick American Pie story. Yeah. Uh, we'll fly, you know, the stewardess going over there, instructions, she turns around, she just was... In the event this flight becomes a cruise, your seat can be used as a flotation device. I thought it was pretty funny. I'm glad you enjoyed it. Yeah. I... <laughs> All right, so anyway, the hero pilot has socks up to his knees. You Moving like on. movies about gladiators? <laughs> Moving on. <laughs> you ever seen a grown man naked? <laughs> How great was it to have the Mission Impossible guy in that friggin' character? Yeah. <laughs> uh... Well, here in New York, they have begun the the fear. Fear of what? What, what if a afraid? hurricane hit New York? Dun 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 dun. dun, dun. Uh, what if? Hasn't it happened? I think I remember growing up on Long Island. Aren't yeah. they like category ones by the time they reach the frigid waters up here? They need like ninety degree water. The last big hurricane to hit New York was in like thirty eight, I believe. No. Well, the big one that uh, did a lot of destruction. I remember growing up and there was a hurricane. I'll yeah, but it's one. never like the, the ones Gloria. they get. Gloria was one, Gloria. yeah. Gloria. But it ju what it does is knock down some power lines, some trees come down. You don't see the flooding and devastation. Maybe if you live on Ash Roken or somewhere North Shore like that, and uh, uh, it, it comes in the perfect track. The thing is, the water's too cold, you need so the, the storms don't... You need the warm water to fuel the hurricane. Yeah, and, and the, the thing is, if it's, if it's moving quickly enough, where the cold, colder water doesn't make it uh, go down a few levels, then it's over so fast 
that uh, it doesn't have time to do much damage. Where is this one going to hit? This one, they don't know still, but I was, I was it's ho- creeping further and further east where a lot more New Orleans is involved in it than they thought. I was hoping it would hit Houston because I thought it was quite ironic that they bust all the looters to Houston to get them ready, you know? Get them yeah. all psyched up. <laughs> <laughs> like, man, they're taking us right to these towns to loot. <laughs> taking you right to the fucking action, baby. <laughs> the looters' buses. <laughs> and now all those people going to Dallas now. The hurricane tour continues. It started in New Orleans, went to... Houston, and now they're off to Dallas. Get those lame concert t-shirts with all the yeah. fucking cities listed on the back. <laughs> yeah, that you looted. Right. <laughs> hilarious. <laughs> looted. <laughs> Lutathon. By the way, Laszlo in studio once again today. Uh, Pat from Unaki is wondering, you know, they talked about that woman on the jet blue flight that did nothing but cry the yeah. entire time. Yeah. If there was a line of people waiting to just smack her in the face. <laughs> like airplane? That's great. <laughs> I hate it when you land and people clap. Like, they expected a different outcome. Like, yeah! <laughs> now, they, they, on this flight... You could understand well, people deserved. clapping. Oh, yeah. They're Can watching you? that twisted landing gear on the TV, going, oh, are we going to flip over? What's going to happen? Am I going to be covered in jet fuel? Jet fuel just burning as I uh, run 10 feet? We were sort of talking about this in the office before the show. You know, if you're the pilot and you know you're going to land this perfectly, wouldn't you use it to your advantage, though? You see some hot chick and... Hurry, seven, suck my cock! Seven yeah. years. <laughs> It'll help my concentration. Start making some deals. <laughs> like, hey. attention away. <laughs> It's pretty tense up there, pretty man. Pretty tense. I think I could do this, really but... Really tense. I, I, I need that blonde in 7B. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, my hands are shaking a little bit. <laughs> you know, uh, the uh, captain needs a steady hand to bring in this bird with this uh, bad uh, landing gear we're faced with. But uh, I was thinking maybe uh, the girl in um, 10J, she could come up to the uh, flight deck here and maybe help me out. What are we going to do about this? <laughs> <laughs> I could try to land this with shaky hands, but... Yeah, right? Yeah, you, you, you want to risk it. Last big hurricane to hit New York was David in 1979. Thank you. Gloria was in, in like, 80, from Jersey. 80, something like that. And was Gloria big? It was big enough. All right. Big up my way. Big, yeah. Right. It was big. You must have so, known exactly where all the emergency exits were, and I would be plotting out who I was going to be knocking out of the oh, way. Of course. Just run over them. That's all you do to get out of there. Let's see how uh, the WB11 in New York is scaring the shit out of us today. All right. Sumi, thank you so much. It's a question that's being asked more and more these days. If a major hurricane were to strike our area, would we be prepared? Patty Smith Barrett joins us live from Rockway Beach, one of the neighborhoods most at risk. Good morning to you, Patty. Good morning, Sukanya. And if a major hurricane hit New York City, experts say that several low-lying areas in the city would, would, would be in very big trouble. That includes the Rockaways here. Now, more than 100,000 people live on this peninsula, and they would all have to evacuate u- using one of three routes, which then could possibly lead to an evacuation scenario that we are now seeing in Texas. Yeah, what? It's being called a... What a reach. She is com- this is such a complete speculation... She's forming this scenario that the odds of happening are just astronomical. She's pitching a Tom Cruise movie. Yeah. If the, oh, the traffic we're seeing in Texas, uh, the flooding we're seeing in New Orleans, this could all happen in the Rockaways. What if an asteroid <laughs> were to <laughs> land in the East River? And one man. Yeah. <laughs> in a world. In a world. It's being called a highway nightmare in Texas. Residents stuck in 45-mile-long backups trying to flee low-lying areas as Hurricane Rita rages towards the coast. At eight Some miles people decided yeah, to just exactly. turn around and take the risk and stay put in the danger zones. But what if a major storm hits here at home? It's happened before. In 1938, a deadly hurricane known as the Long Island Express blew through the region, causing significant damage. Hubba, hubba. Hurricane Gloria got to in 1985 leave. also caused significant harm. Arm. Mayor Bloomberg now saying New York is prepared to handle another major event. He says the chaos we've seen with the evacuations in the South would not happen here, revealing a plan that he says can handle 700,000 people, nearly double the number of residents who live in low-lying danger zones like the Rockaways, Lower Manhattan, and Coney Island. Uh, the police department would be knocking on doors. The radio stations would be carrying announcements. Not um, ours. Not the not fire ours. department <laughs> would be helping. The MTA. Assuming a lot there, Mayor. <laughs> the radio station making announcements. It's Whip Them Out Wednesday. <laughs> It's our big announcement. I think there were times over the past decade that uh, they were counting on us out there. Oh. And, we, and we fucked up royally. We'll give you nothing. <laughs> right. 
<laughs> Love that. 1938 is when they're looking back, when New York saw a big one? The Long Island Express. The Long Island Express. Have you ever heard of that one? I've never heard of it. The, the evacuation. <laughs> <laughs> We've got to evacuate. <laughs> What do you think of this Adolf Hitler? Do you think it could be a problem in the future? I saw the footage. No one had a problem evacuating. They all no. moved really fast. They were in fast motion, all of them. <laughs> <laughs> moved so much faster back then. With all the coffee you, we drink these days, you'd think we could keep up with the 1930s. But I see the footage. <laughs> Run around the bases a lot faster, too. <laughs> I know. Babe Ruth had a, <laughs> yeah, a world-class speed. A fat bastard. Those legs were moving. Don't you think in this day and age they could figure out how to slow down that footage to make it make sense? Oh. But they still show Babe Ruth running like a sprints around the bases after every homer. <laughs> The fire department would be helping. The MTA has agreed to provide buses. The schools are all set, ready to take in people that we had to evacuate. This resident has lived in Rockaway Beach for 55 years and takes the threat of a hurricane seriously. I had to be in the late 50s, <laughs> early 60s. I think it was the day after a hurricane. The bay and the ocean met. How would you handle a major hurricane here? Well, if I saw it was coming, I would probably evacuate and move, at least go in. Inland a little bit. There's no story and here. Say the city's none story. Is riddled with problems. <laughs> they say, in their opinion, there are not enough evacuation centers. They say it could be difficult for residents to make their way to those sites, and they say some of those shelters might not actually be safe. Now, for more on the city's evacuation plan, you can log on to nyc.gov. Oh, and we wow. are live in Queens this morning. I'm Patty Smith there for the morning news. John, back to you. Don't buy this shit, people. That's got to be the easiest problem for a politician to handle. Just some hypothetical horseshit. Right, yeah. Right, right. You think he could? Be prepared for that? Uh, yeah. <laughs> Absolutely. I think, I think we could handle it. Ah, uh, yeah. There'd be buses, and, um, shelters, food for oh, everybody. Throwing yeah, out stock shit. Plenty of water. I'd love just once for Provisions, somebody. Provisions, somebody, gold doubloons, somebody anything. Just say, you know what? We'd be fucked, dude. But, but you yeah. know, here's the deal. I'm in a chopper out of here, so you can... Exactly. I'm leaving. <laughs> it's like, dude, have you seen Rush Hour here every day? Yeah. Right. A regular day. fucked. A regular day during rush hour from the city to Long Island. How looks like an evacuation. It does. It looks like <laughs> Texas every day. How about we not worry about a hurricane that may hit in the next 50 years and exactly take care of the rush hour traffic? That's yeah. what we want taken care of. Great job. Yeah, everything's fine. We're prepared. They send the young go-getter. All right, do a story about a hurricane hitting New York. Go. If the Earth left its orbit around the sun, are we prepared? What? <laughs> We asked what? people in Queens how they would handle it. <laughs> well, I would assume it would get cold eventually as we spin off from the sun. So I, I would get some blankets. Great. Good. Mr. Bloomberg, could you handle that? Yes. There, there would be coats. <laughs> and Unbelievable. There's, there's always these hurricane checklists. But when you go to the convenience stores and the stores, I, I saw this whole story in Texas, what people are really buying, the top three, cigarettes, liquor, lottery tickets. <laughs> lottery tickets, lottery really? tickets. I couldn't believe it. I couldn't get uh, minutes on my uh, OnStar phone. You know the phone in my Escalade? Um, you hit the button, and it's a cell phone. There's a cell phone in there. And you just hit a button on the rearview mirror, and you go, uh, call home. And it dials home. And then when you run out, it goes, you are out of minutes. And then they connect you, and you got to buy minutes. Uh, I bought some more minutes, and the guy, uh, uh, the recording says, uh, could not upload minutes. So I get a guy on the phone. And he tells me they can't upload it right now because of the hurricane. It's like, what does that have to do with this? He goes, apparently a lot of people are ordering minutes because of the hurricane. So it's uh, cigarettes, liquor, and minutes right. on your OnStar phone. No He's story there about either. nothing. Can you. Just Can you believe this? How bad do you think it's going to be? <laughs> it's it's just killing I, your whole plan in one evening. I think everybody just wants to blame the hurricane for everything that right. happens. It's an easy blame is what it is. You have technical problems? Ah, it's a fucking hurricane down there in Texas. <laughs> 24 <laughs> I, dead. I got no responsibility. 24 dead in bus fire near Dallas. All right. Uh, Anthony, I'm getting reports. We got Martini Steve, Steve the Bear, Hybrid Steve, 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 Steve making his way into the studio to give us an update here, but I hear there may have been an unbelievable assault on the media in Buffalo. Unbelievable assault on the media? It's being said that it could be the winner of the assault on the media contest. For could September. be the winner? Could be the winner with, what, a week left? Oh, there he is. 
wondering what was taking him so long. Oh, he's doing laps again. Because uh, you know why the studio's so crowded today. Very crowded today. He's, Big uh, Kevin Studio Laszlo. Oh, my God. No, look at the front tire on his uh, hybrid. It's call. turned at 90 degrees. <laughs> what is it? There's oh. a potential one person could pass away. Oh, my God. He's going to have to now circle to burn off the fuel. This is going to take 18 months <laughs> because of this hybrid. As we know, it just takes forever. Oh, Steve, bring it in already. I'm missing my TV show. <laughs> oh, oh, I think this is done final. Oh, 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 Beautiful. Nothing. The bravery thank you, thank you. there. Look at his socks are pulled up. <laughs> wow. They are. <laughs> Stay warm. <laughs> oh, from zero to hero. And right back to zero, zero. again. <laughs> thank you. Hey, Steve. Hi, boys. How are you doing, Steve? I'm good. So, we got a video? Yeah, we just uh, got an assault on the media Hold video. On. All right. What? No, not yet. Well, I want to turn the screen so everyone can see it at the oh, same okay. time so we can comment. Good. No, uh, hit pause, hit pause, hit pause. So what, what's the uh, what's the what's this video all about? Buffalo Paul last night, I guess, and this, his friend Chicken Shit Charlie went after. <laughs> <laughs> Easy. I These two ha have been obsessed with the yeah. whole assault on the media contest. I've been they following are. what the what this is all about. And he's come close to winning. Yeah, uh, I think. I think the first time he's been in the he running. was in the lead the first time, and then somebody eked him out and yeah. won. He's 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 the champ of the almost assault yep. in the media. I yeah. Think. Well, then he got chicken shit uh, involved. Yeah. Then he got chicken out. shit, and chicken shit is fearless. This guy, as you'll see in this clip, just gets right. Is that like a, the fat guy named Tiny? <laughs> yeah, it's real. Is yeah. that what it is? And, and they, they call him chicken shit because he'll <laughs> just do anything. Apparently, in this That's clip, funny. give the MAD to chicken shit. He'll flush it down the toilet. <laughs> I need a sidekick. What's your name? Chicken shit. Perfect. Chicken yeah. shit. <laughs> You're great. <laughs> chicken shit. Chicken shit. They went after uh, WKBW in Buffalo and reporter Julie Fine, and she was doing a story. And Is she uh, fine? Yeah, and please, Buffalo Paul did mention that in his page-long fucking email that came along with Is she fine, this. or is that too like the tiny joke? <laughs> I swear to you. Look at <laughs> oh, my God. Yeah. Hey, Steve. Charlie got another good assault on the media out there. He actually had one last Thursday as well, but the recording process got messed up, and Channel 7 is refusing to put that newscast on their site. We are still looking to get that video from somewhere. He used an air horn last Thursday as well as this one and scared the shit out of both reporters. Since we did Channel 7 last Thursday, we set up to get Channel 2 again. But I think they recognized Charlie and they packed in their live shot equipment about 10 minutes before airtime and did their report from within studio. Since our recorder was set for Channel 2, we had to call someone else to record the Channel 7 live shot that was now set up in the same location. Hey. The quality of that person's tape wasn't the best, but at Shut least up. we got a copy Shut of it. Up. He scared Stop. the shit out of this very hot Stop reporter, it. Julie Fine, from K, uh, Quiet. WKBW. Quiet. She ran from the shop because I think Quiet. the Pat Battle mask freaked her out. Shut up. I left Charlie Shut dead up. center in the frame, but Shut since up. she brought the microphone with her, Stop Charlie's it. Opie and Anthony on XM radio didn't come out as Stop clear it. as it could have. It did disrupt the entire story, and Stop it turned whining. into quite the classic attack. He also upgraded his Pat Battle mask into the casual smirking Pat Battle, which added to the freakish look. Charlie doesn't have an XM radio, so he doesn't really get to listen to the show that much. I told him he should call into the show tomorrow morning and talk about his assault on the media. <sighs> Idiot! I just hope o and <laughs> take it easy on him and understand he may not get some of the inside joke references. Shut your goddamn pie hole! I know I suck on the radio from my Boston trip, but Charlie is willing to take a crack at it. Try not to hang him out to dry too badly if he calls in. Thanks, Steve. Paul. Idiot! It's like a fucking blog. Yeah. Holy shit. Every time Paul does one of these, and every time Paul wants to communicate, he sends a page of fucking text. Thank you. And Steve openly hates the listeners. He doesn't fake it. <laughs> yeah. Oh, no. Tell him what you think of them. Um, there are a good portion of them who I would like to lock in a room with no windows and blowtorch. And then... <laughs> 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 I really... I don't hate all of them. There's some of them who are actually very nice and very friendly. But the meatheads who <laughs> fucking knuckle-dragging cavemen assholes who you know what it is we look at our listeners and say like there's a few bad apples out there but the majority of them are cool yeah. Steve it's the opposite right. he goes the majority of the listeners are fucking idiots <laughs> that I can't stand but there's a couple that are cool yeah yeah there's a couple that are very nice yeah and urgent communique coming in on your Blackberry 
Oh, let's take a look here. Uh huh. Uh-huh. Elo, location check. Uh-huh. Let's see. Ooh, Jeff Foxworthy. Or is it from? I hate the BlackBerry. I hate the the, the messages I get on that thing. XM Comedy 150 presents another round of applause this week with Jeff Foxworthy, recorded at Rascals oh. on June 15th, 1989. Oh wow! Right at the peak of his. Uh, Blah, blah, blah. Oh, thing. my God. It's so long. What is that now? Getting a high-pitched squeal as you scroll. If you want to see Jeff Foxworthy on 150, it's Saturday at 10 p.m. Eastern. There you go. You know what my favorite emails are oh. uh, that I get on that thing? Because you get every email from XM. Right. Every interoffice memo, every single thing comes up on that fucking uh, BlackBerry. I like the ones that say, Eric Logan, I click on it, and it goes, like, Jim Brown is no longer with the XM organization. <laughs> right. Please make note of this. Like, he just fired someone, and everyone knows, yeah. even me. Do not make eye contact Ooh. with Jim Brown. We're getting a high-pitched... What was it? It's Laszlo. Uh, what is that thing? It's a cell phone jammer. I'm trying to shut down his BlackBerry. <laughs> <laughs> Stop, you He's fucking got a geek. cell phone jammer. Some weird, weird science thing. These things are a blast on the train. You have some asshole babbling to his phone. You oh, just hit the button. Fantastic. And they're like, hello? Does hello? it really work? Yeah, it works. It works really well on Verizon and uh, a couple of the other carriers. Nice. Yeah, very sweet. I didn't realize it was so big though. Um, yeah, in a way, like obvious. I thought like, when <laughs> yeah. I, when I, like you know, he's he pulling out like antennas, old, yeah, old, <laughs> like an antenna. old rabbit ears on top of a TV, <laughs> he's setting up shop in front of the train. <laughs> you're trying to get your signal. You look, there's just some guy staring right at you, pointing this ray from like <laughs> oh, from like creature feature. Right, your phone doesn't work, and it just was. And there's a guy adjusting rabbit ears over there. Don't mind me. Gee, I wonder what happened. All right, so with the assault on the media, Buffalo, Paul, and Chicken Shit, right? Yeah, they get up right behind this woman as she starts her report, and uh, Chicken Shit Charlie's wearing Are we a, looking? Here we go. a Pat battle mask. All right. And uh, he's got a cardboard cutout of Jim Norton, I think, smoking a cigar. And he gets I'm right sure up behind her. Cigar. I don't know. I here we go. Here, here comes crap. the video now. Channel 7. Here's uh, live. Wow, they went right up to her. Right up to her. Holy crap, that mask is scary. She's turning around. Oh, it around. scared the crap out of her. She scared the crap out of her. But he, he fired off an air horn twice during the whole report. <laughs> oh, Dude, she just wow. gave up on the report? She gave up on the report and she left him dead center. off screen. She, she just walked, walked away? Yes. And the cameraman just kept the camera on the guy yep. that was doing the assault. Oh, wow. We got the audio of this? Yes, cool. you do. All right, the video's up on opianfb.com. Yep. Mm-hmm. That's so much easier for the people out there than Foundry Music, by the way. Oh, boy. Uh-huh. Opie and Anthony.com to see the latest assault oh, on the media. Oh, boy. Look at Steve. Uh-huh. Well, no, it's not. That's okay, because I get ten times more traffic than Opie and Anthony.com, but it's okay. Oh. Ooh. Yes, wow. I have more traffic than you. Yeah. Oh, wow. Most, All right. most confusing highways are uh, full of traffic. Tr- trust me, dude. There's there's websites with <laughs> A lot of names highway that way. are ten times longer than Foundry Music and Opie and Anthony. Tra- and, and if you saw how some people spell Opie and Anthony, you'd eliminate... The yeah, simplicity entirely. O P I A N T O N Y. O P I E. O P and Anthony. Uh, my favorite has always been O P Y. Yeah. To spell O P P Y. O P O P. Someone's making fun of me. Uh, o P. How can we see Foxworthy on 150? Good point. I'm sorry. Mm. You could hear Jeff Foxworthy on. You'd probably get a picture in your head though. Yeah. That mustache know. of his. Little, yeah. Little visual. Your friend asks you to move, help him move, and it involves putting wheels on... Shut up. If you laugh at the same premise for 45 <laughs> minutes... 45 minutes, 20 years. You might be a redneck. All right, here's the audio of the assault on the media. It's like, dude, I got it. <laughs> Made your point. All right. Here's the assault on the media. He sits in his mansion. Yeah, exactly. Trying to sell my shitty CD after at fucking the stress factory. Huh? <laughs> Approval? Anybody? <laughs> uh, all right, here we go. The audio of the assault on the media. Southern News reporter Julie Fine is live at Erie Community College tonight with the very latest for us. Julie? It was quite a scene here. State Assemblyman Mark Schroeder calling a news conference. He is critical of the control board's consultancy. We'll have to get right back to you with this story. (laughs) (laughs) She just ran off. (laughs) She ran off. That's got to be extra points if you make the reporter leave. Oh, yeah. Wow. She abandoned her post. Air raid horn going off. Yeah. Can we get this up on Fark? This is a good one for Fark.com. Yeah, I will man. absolutely send this off to Drew. Holy crap. You, you know she's on. getting reprimanded. Yeah, she just like walked you off. You never oh, yeah. leave your you wingman. Don't leave. She walked and gave up, and then the cameraman just focused on this guy with a pat battle mask. It looks like an Opie and Anthony t shirt. And then he's holding, like, uh, yeah, a cardboard cutout of Jim Norton's Jimmy. face with a cigar in it. <laughs> 
<laughs> and then he just walks off like he's some kind of creepy serial killer. <laughs> I think even he was stunned. Like I didn't think. Wow, I was she get left. Back. Wow, this is pretty easy. It he could have like... walked up and continued doing a story. Yeah. That's like they say, like a rapist. If you just go, go ahead. Yeah. <laughs> they Takes want you the to thrill away. Yeah. Here it is. Here it is. Here he is with Dick the air horn. Here's it with the air horn. She turns around like what? The? She was scared shit, and she just yeah. walked off. Look at her face right before she leaves the shot. It it's total fear and apparently he's he's screaming at the, right right into the camera but she's got the mic so you can't yeah. hear any of it yeah uh, so is this in the lead for the assault on the media contest yeah, in September? that's a good one i'm gonna have to review the rest but i think that's a very good one and that it's, could be in contention dude, i would have left too yeah. Yeah. it's not worth it look at her face watch when she leaves the, uh, leaves the scene <laughs> right oh and she's look. pissed she just wants out of there so fast yeah so it's going to be between uh buffalo philly and boston we got three really good ones this month yeah we got to figure out who's going to win the assault on the media contest for September. This happens every month. You can do mm -hmm. anything you want except touch the reporters at this point. Anything. Mm -hmm. The air horns are great. The assault on the media prize is for the month of September a portable Delphi MiFi radio. Dinner with our own E Rock. You'll go down to Paisano's on Mulberry Street in the heart of Little Italy. Also, you get 30 days free video game rentals from Gamefly.com. And finally, admission, if you're in the New York area, to see one of our shows. You just hang out all day. That's pretty cool. All right? Oh, Carmine from the Bronx. I'm not going to say Carmine. He goes, please say Carmine. And he keeps instant feedbacking. Just say Carmine, please. I'm not saying Carmine. I'm banning him. <laughs> He's being banned right now. He, he was just a little excited, though. You think? Yeah, he you said his him. name like yeah. 15 times. It's very exciting he, to hear your name on the radio. Him. All right, but he's got to stop or I will ban him. Yeah, don't ban him. All right, I won't ban he him. He's pretty cool. Charlie in Buffalo, this is uh, Chicken Shit. Yes. All right, Chicken Shit, walk us through your assault on the media. Um, we parked about a block away, and uh, I had the cell phone, so I, Paul told me right when they were going live, kind of led me a little bit, and mm -hmm. just ran up there and started screaming. And did they say anything to you? No, they were, they all looked shocked. The cameraman just stood there with his mouth open, like, what's going on? So you were wearing a Pat Battle mask, right? Yeah. You have no idea what that means, right? Um, I was a fan of Norton before I was a fan of ONA, so I'm a little bit familiar with it. All right. I've seen him a couple times. Okay. And then uh, you were also holding a Jim Norton cutout face with a cigar in it? It's actually a long tongue. He's supposed to be licking Pat Battle, but I held, held it in the wrong hand, so he was licking... The air. <laughs> right. <laughs> yeah, this whole thing set up. A little mistake, a little direction Oops. mistake. Yeah. And you walked up with the air horn, you were just blasting that at her. Yeah, I thought they cut the shot, that's why I left. And you were screaming Opie and Anthony the whole time? Yeah, I, yeah, I screamed it twice, but the air horn muffled it, and the mask didn't have a mouth hole, so I couldn't. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I, I used a megaphone one time, but they, uh, I didn't get visual, so. Yeah, you guys have been at this for, I don't know. A while now, and I think you finally might have one that's gonna win the contest. Yeah, I wanted to get one with all the, all the components together. So yeah, you got the air horn, the mask, yes, even with all the glitches. She got freaked out, and she uh, you know walked right off her shot. Yeah, I walked past her about twenty minutes before, and she looked at me, so I know she knows that I was staking her out. Right. Did you do some run-throughs the night before? No, we just we have a system where it's pretty simple. We watch the five o'clock broadcast, and they shoot from the same shot at 6 o'clock, same exact time, so... You weren't, like, drawing diagrams on a chalkboard right. with little X's and O's? Walk up and do it. Wow. All it right. worked out very well. Yeah, yeah, it was a great assault on the media. The video's up on foundrymusic.com. Thank you, Opie. You cool. want to spell that, Steve? No, I don't. You know what? Do Go to Google. Do a search on Opie and Anthony. It's the first link that pops up. <laughs> well, I hope I'm in the running. I'd wow. like to come to New York, and I'd like to get a... Uh, radio. I don't have uh, XM radio yet. We got to take a look at the other videos. All the videos are up there. Very easy to look at. Yes. All right. You can uh, email your opinions who you think's in the lead. But uh, I'm starting to think uh, you guys might have pulled it off. All right. That's with a good a, one. With a week left in this month's contest, and then we'll start it up for October. This is an ongoing thing. You know what it got? You got to judge it on. Um, it has the air horn, which is, we love. It's always great. Right. Uh, it has costumes. Right. Which we love. Right. And it has the reporter doing something they wouldn't have done if the people hadn't shown up. Right. <laughs> like any reaction. Yeah, fear is always good. Fear, great. And, and the number one thing, because uh, what we're trying to get accomplished here is, uh, you know, the name of the show out there. Right. Mm -hmm. That's why we call it a virus. This is one of many ways to spread the virus. So you got to make sure you have some kind of Opie and Anthony element in your yeah, assault. We're, yes. We're working on a sign, so. All right. 
Uh, I think she was hoping the cameraman would go with her, but he just stayed on me. So did anyone chase you afterwards, or uh, no? Say- there were some security guards there, and they were just kind of smiling as I walked away. Oh, really? Yeah. All right. Very good. That's cool. <laughs> Thank you, Charlie. Right. Thank you. Better known as Chicken Shit. <laughs> Once again, here's the audio. Seven News reporter Julie Fine is live at Erie Community College tonight with the very latest for us. Julie? It was quite a scene here. State Assemblyman Mark Schroeder calling a news conference. He is critical of the control board's consultancy. We'll have to get right back to you with this story. <laughs> oh, obnoxious. <laughs> oh, yeah, the XML radio. I heard that in the background yeah. that time. <laughs> How obnoxious. That's Muck why you threw that mass. That's why you guys are called pests. You're not listeners anymore. You're just pests. Dug out Doug, whack bag. What's up? How's it going, guys? Hey. Just a little hurt from yesterday. You can hear it in my voice, but that's okay. Hey, uh, last night they had a little assault on uh, Baba Booey also in his uh, little bar crawl he did for uh, K-Rock yesterday. Oh, man, we got great pictures of this on the websites as well. Uh, you yeah. want to explain, Doug? Yeah, you guys have fun with that. I'm done. I'm not dancing for you guys today. No, not come dancing. on. We, no, weren't, we, we weren't there. Everybody's no, throwing no, down the gauntlet today. Yeah. Not doing it. Uh, basically, uh, Baba Booey had, what, a, a bar crawl? Yeah, something like that. And then you guys went and you, you destroyed the, the K-Rock van, first of all, with a ton of Opie and Anthony Wow stickers. And then you guys were taking pictures with Baba Booey, and what, at the last second you would you, you'd hold up the Opie and Anthony stuff? Uh, yeah, that's what they did. About five guys uh, from the New York area. I posted the uh, intel. I got the intel late uh, Wednesday that he was doing a bar crawl. Uh, so uh, FedEx, FedEx it, big ass number. <gasps> I'm rich. <laughs> that funny picture right there. I'm Anthony, looking at it. See, stupid Baba Booey thinks he's just taking a picture with a fan. So he's like, sure, I, you know, no problem. I like when people want pictures with me. And, and then just as the camera's about to take the picture, they all uh, pull out their wow stickers really fast, and he has no <laughs> fucking idea. Apparently there's about 100 stickers on the K-Rock van also, because uh, there was a K-Rock van out in front of it. Yeah. Uh, so they plastered the K-Rock band with uh, WOW stickers. There's pictures of that on West Bag also, too. I don't know if you see them or not. Good job. And this is just a cute little thing. I mean, Howie has no idea what's planned in the future, man. It's going to get ugly. The pests, I, the pests are organizing all over the place now. Like, I saw it on one of the uh, message boards. All of a sudden, the, you, you activated uh, the New York cell to run down and do this real fast. <laughs> yes, sir. I uh, did that uh, Wednesday, late Wednesday night. We got the intel on this. Uh, so we had a pretty decent showing for uh, such short notice on a Thursday night. Right Mama! <laughs> we have pest cells everywhere now. They're growing uh, by the day. One thing I wanted to get out there was definitely the line of the night as far as this little attack was concerned. Yeah. Uh, he noticed the stickers right when the picture was taken, and he got all angry. Uh, I believe one of the guys handed him a last sticker and told him to hang on to it. Yeah. And he said, ah, save it for their four fans. <laughs> well, the guy turned around and looked at him. And said, I'm not sure who it was. Uh, I think it might have been FedEx Ed. Uh, turned around and looked at him and said, there's five of us here, buddy. <laughs> <laughs> Showed him there. All right, Doug, that's a good out. Very good. There was a dejected look on his face. So that's a, uh, I just wanted to make sure. Uh, those all guys right, Doug. Oh, no, Doug, 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 Doug you had a great out. out. You're, you're out. Like, the, like Big A didn't have to say anything after he said, fuck you, bitch. No, and you you had that. We got we, There's five here, buddy, and, and you, you got to leave. Yeah, you got a nice laugh, so it's like, all right, guys, see you later. You guys are asking for it, you know. All right. <laughs> <laughs> all right, Doug, thank you. Take it easy, guys. There he goes, Doug out, Doug. Doing a lot of uh, stuff behind the scenes with the pests. Yeah. <clears throat> Hemorrhage. Yeah, man, what's up? What's up, man? Oh, uh, it was it was fucking awesome last night, man. I got to tell you that shit. Me, FedEx Ed, bad cell phone guy. And what was his name? Big ass member. We all met up over there a couple blocks away. Did this shit. It was pretty beautiful. We walked down. As we're walking down, FedEx is telling us about the van. So we plastered that shit. It was like Bukaki wild stickers all over that van, man. Yeah, it's great. <laughs> That's the new thing that these guys are doing. They're all sitting and waiting, and then all of a sudden they're like, go. We need you guys in Cleveland. They all get together and do some crazy thing in Cleveland or what have That's you. But the awesome thing was at the first at the first bar we hit it was their second station. We're we're one table away from Baba Bui, and as we're sitting there just hanging out, like I, I overhear one of his interns running, and all I heard was three words. I heard Opie and Anthony fans. I heard Wow stickers, and I heard Van. So I knew they caught on to us. Nice. And we're just sitting there just laughing. We get to the next station, and we're just hanging out a little bit earlier before we get there. I go up to I go up to Gary, and I'm pretending to be like a little fanboy. I'm like, oh, you want to take a picture? We're awesome fans and shit. So he's like, yeah, to, to his credit, he was a nice guy and just, like, walked up, took the picture. 
and we just uh, as soon as he, like as soon as we posed, I pulled that wild sticker on. Ed put his hat on and everything. It was beautiful. We took the pic, and as we're walking away, we're like, "Oh, can't wait for you to get to serious. Can't wait for you to get to serious." It was beautiful. Then I hand him the sticker, and he looks at me. He goes, "Ah, oh, shouldn't you save this for your four listeners?" That's when I turn around and tell him, "Yeah, but there's five of us here." And that was just a cute, quick little thing. We have uh, bigger plans. Thanks, Hemorrhage. No problem, man. All awesome right. shit. You guys did great. <laughs> just assholes and a love. They really are. All right. Bush looks for a planted reporter in audience. I don't know what this is about. What? Does anyone know about this? Is this another Steve thing that he knows about? Yeah, yeah, yeah. He was telling me about this. <laughs> <laughs> I do know there's been some. Are you kidding? Some issues no, with no, them. No, no. Okay, okay. Planting yeah. reporters to throw softball questions. Yeah, and I think he was looking for one. And the person, he literally looked down at the podium, you were saying? Yeah, what happened there, Steve? Wait, Steve's coming in. Hang on. Uh, no, he left his car in here before. He just stepped oh, out for right, a second. Oh, that's right, he did. Yeah, he, did, he, did. Yeah. he never took off and left. Uh, yeah, Bill pretty much nailed it. He uh, was just <laughs> looking for a planted reporter to uh, get a softball question thrown at him. And he looks down at the podium, calls out the name, then looks up and realizes the reporter is not in the room. Oops. Oopsie. <laughs> wow. Let's take a listen to this. Is it good? Yeah, I liked it. You liked it? AC, brief us on today. Uh, Bianca. Nobody named Bianca? Well, I'm sorry, Bianca's not here. I'd be glad to answer her question. No, it's fine. Thank you, though. Appreciate it. <laughs> Just trying to spread around the joy of answer, asking your question. How is the strategy outlined today by General Casey different from what the United States was doing in the past? What lessons would you say have been incorporated in it? Holy crap. Now, what yeah. Bianca would have asked me was, how am I fighting a war on terror? Yeah. And what I, paper does you. that person work for? Man, that's, mm. like, scary. Yeah. They're, like, on the payroll? This is the guy leading us. Yeah. This is, he's, he's clueless, and he just has his clueless so expression. So he looked up and may believe he knew, like, the reporter by name, because that would be really nice of the president. You're but, a well, communist. The thing is, he, he, he read the name. He looked down at the podium, read, said, Bianca, and then looks up, looking for Bianca, as if, well, you'd think the progression would be you look out in the audience and then call on somebody. I yeah. what is, how is Fox News spinning this one? Are they just not even <laughs> showing it? I mean, I, how, how do you get out of this This one? is video, right off of Fox News. And I bet you that really? video is up on foundrymusic.com. It certainly is. <laughs> Uh, yeah, it, wow. it, it was it was a live press conference feed. It was a split screen. The one side looks like there's uh, an aircraft carrier, and the other uh, side is, is Bush at the podium. And it's clear as day. He just has this completely uh, confused look on his face. This Fox News alert, where's Bianca? <laughs> Bianca has been kidnapped, obviously. She was supposed to be at the Bush press conference. But the liberals wouldn't let her get into the conference room. <laughs> Hating freedom. <laughs> This just in, could Bianca be in Rita's path? <laughs> Is that legal? <laughs> Is that even, like... It's so creepy, I don't even want to acknowledge I mean, if you that you get I've impeached that. for lying about a blowjob, I mean... Yeah, how about planting uh, people from the press? All right. Wow. Wow. I don't know. Jack Black song. Huh? Which one? We've had a special. Huh? You know where it is? Um, isn't it in? Uh, well, I was gonna, I, I was gonna go to break with that, but mm. sorry, what? Anthony, sorry. No, I was just waiting for. A, I usually turn what the mic Steve off. Steve was doing. Go ahead. Oh, I have nothing. Oh, you don't have nothing. I was gonna hit the oh, Steve is leaving. Oh, you don't have nothing. Oh, you. <laughs> I was gonna nothing. hit Steve is leaving. Oh, he's no. taking his car now. Well, it was on CD, but yeah. This is supposed to be a quick thing, Eric. You know where it is? Here comes Eric. <laughs> Derek's not gonna fuck up again. <laughs> All right, now Derek, uh, Eric's in studio trying to find it. It's on a CD that used to be out, but you don't leave out. Yeah, anymore. there's only a pile of about 800 CDs over here to go through. Yeah, that CD should stay out what? though. It got uh, lost in the. Uh... Is my stuff in the auction yet? Yes, it's in the auction. All right, okay, Eric, what? freaking out. How much is it? Oh God, I gotta find this. Holy shit! Not organized. I'm Not seconds away from job. really getting ripped apart here. <laughs> oh, if I pulled it out right now, if I pulled it out now, I'd be fine, but... Oh, no, it's not in that stack. Oh, oh no, he's oh, going no. to a bigger stack. Oh, he's going to a bag. Oh, oh no. he's in the bag. That's that porno uh, bag, too. What's in the bag? What's in the bag? <laughs> <laughs> this was supposed to be a quick thing, like, and hey, we'll Rick. be back right after this. And then you hear this fun song, and everyone laughs. 
Instead, now we're just searching for it. Wouldn't it be better to put all this on a hard drive instead of just having like CDs all over the studio? Well, yeah. See, I think he brings I'm, up a good point. I'm no Opie and Anthony producer, does. but... You know, Laszlo, your show might be all <laughs> slick and actually have the sounds that you want and the the clips. Nothing on CD. He's taking out carts. Yeah. He's got old carts. Thank you, Eric. Eric found it. There he goes. And there he goes. Hope he's queuing up things on reel to reel. All right. More with Laszlo and Bill Burr and everybody else after this fine song mm. that we've been playing by Jack Black. All right, you're checking out the Opie and Anthony program. The hurricane is now, we've been broadcasting three hours, nine, 27 miles closer. Run, run for your lives. Well, it's going to be ugly, obviously. Yeah. Uh, our auction's going well for Hurricane Katrina. Hurricane what? Katrina. Which the, one was that? The victims of Hurricane Katrina. Now it's just... I haven't heard about that one in a while. What was that one? Now our auction's just helping all the people of the world. Is that what it is? Wherever they need help. Yes, Anthony. Wherever it rains. Where it rains, we're helping you. Oh, now they have a computer graphic of Galveston being flooded and put underwater. <laughs> Look at the fear. This could happen. It will happen. They just show it slowly disappearing under the ocean. Wow. Well, uh, it's going to be... It's going to be tomorrow morning when you're waking up. That's when all the action will be on your TV. All right. Hey, where's Eric? <laughs> That's perfect for us, huh? Whole big build up. We just. We, right we, as it's hitting the red carpet. We have the weekend yeah. off. Uh, have good weekend, folks. It's going to hit banana daiquiri in my hand. Well, I hope <laughs> no one's hurt. It hits well. <laughs> I'd, I'd love to comment on this, but. I'll be down in Atlantic City tonight when it's hitting, and. Yeah. Jersey, Jersey, Jersey Shore tomorrow. Ah. I'll Irish. Throw it. I'll I'll be be standing weekend, in a, baby. I'll be standing in a college cafeteria <laughs> in front of 30 kids who didn't know there was going to be a show. Uh, Eric in studio. The lead is down, so Derek can't play his little game with Eric, unfortunately. Uh, but you're still adding items every day to the Opie and Anthony auction, right? Yeah, we just added a bunch of new stuff. OpieandAnthony.com to get to the link to the auction so you can bid on some fine items. Joey gave us something unbelievable last night. Yeah? Unbelievable. It's real. It's the real deal. Get out of here. Yes. I thought wow. that was fake. Eric, explain it to everybody. Explain it to them. Joey gave us the movie poster to the movie Scarface, signed by the cast, Oliver Stone, and Brian De Palma. Wait, is Al Pacino signature on that? Yeah. It's part of right the there, up top oh, okay. by his Oh, picture. okay. All the big names in the cast, plus Brian De Palma and, and uh, Oliver Stone. Oh, wow. Give me something. I will bid a thousand dollars right now. Can I take it home? Can I just have it? <laughs> uh, I'm bidding on it as well. That item's up right now, right? Yep. And there's a uh, certificate of authenticity. That there is. It's real. Trust me, Joey. Uh, it's from Joey. It'll say, "Yeah, it's real, <laughs> asshole." <laughs> it's, Got a problem? It's the real deal. It's definitely the real <laughs> deal. So go to opianthony.com to go to the link to the. Uh, to the auction, okay? Maybe you could get some of your friends in show business to sign some more things. Bring it down to Paisano's. Never know. My dad bought me a, a picture of uh, Muhammad Ali. Yeah. It was allegedly signed by him. Yeah. So the certificate of authenticity was a picture of Muhammad Ali, like, signing something. <laughs> signing something. I'm like, well, shit, there you go. <laughs> he <laughs> can write. Real. That's obviously my poster. <laughs> I threw away my signed, um, well, it was a Christmas card. From Richard Milhouse Nixon. <laughs> How fucking old are you? When I was in school. <laughs> Jesus. When I was a little when, when, when I was part of his administration. <laughs> <laughs> Anthony was a speechwriter. I was a l young little lad in school, and our uh, assignment was to write uh, a Christmas card and send it to the President of the United States, and it was Richard N Nixon, and uh, I sent him a card, and I got one back. I, I got one back, and you it was actually signed by... You realize we're trying to make believe that we're young and hip when we do this I was show. a kid. It was in the 70s, and I was a little kid. Did you say you had to write a letter to, like, Ronald Reagan? I wasn't to Ronald Reagan? I wasn't a little kid in school then. <laughs> we and, and tried to like, make believe we're still in our 20s here. You're not helping this. We're 20s? <laughs> yeah, <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> Been faking 30s for long enough. Stop. <laughs> and then he's like, when I was a kid, I always dreamed of being a blacksmith. <laughs> <laughs> so I visited the old village smithy. Ye old. Ye old. Damn it, dude. 
You're old enough what? to remember writing letters. I was sitting there no drinking some birch anymore. beer. When I <laughs> holy shit, it was a, a a Christmas card to Richard Nixon. But I was a kid. It was like a kid assignment that they do in school. Instead of doing math and stuff, you do you, you remember when we like broke the speed of sound? I remember. <laughs> <laughs> That's great you were a kid. He was president uh, 40 years ago. Chuck Yeager has broken the sound barrier, and Anthony is there. Oh, <laughs> uh, no. It was, uh, like I said, I was uh, a kid. Laszlo in studio. Hey, Laz. I was just showing Anthony this uh, this website. Back in, like, the late 90s when there was the, the Internet boom and the search engines were going at it, there were always these sort of backdoor URLs that you could go to and find out what people were typing into those search engines in real time. And if there's anything that will give you a pulse on humanity and how fucked up the planet is, it's what people are searching for. So most of the search engines shut them down, but there's one that searches four search engines at the same time, and they still have a search voyeur, and it's this long, complicated URL, but I typed it into to Anthony's, and it sits there, and it scrolls... It scrolls what people are searching for. Right last, now. Right now. Last night, I was I was sitting there watching it go... It's like watching television. Somebody was searching for pictures of dead bodies, mm -hmm. another person searching for my friend's hot mom, and uh, my favorite last night... That's pretty tame. Am I having a heart attack? <laughs> <laughs> Maybe like, you shouldn't be on the computer. Like, like the computer would just go, yes, you are. <laughs> Am I? <laughs> Click. Oh, my God. I hope he got his answer fast. How about 911? Right. 911.com. Um, so I'm looking at some of these right wow. now. We have Beyonce and Jay-Z photographs. Okay. I guess people uh, want that. Uh, free poems. Mm -hmm. uh, chemical melting points. <laughs> it's a little scary. With chemical spelt wrong, I think. Um, <laughs> that's a disaster waiting to happen. <laughs> Boost mobile phone code cracker. <laughs> so someone's doing a little hacking. Uh, 1985 Florida Gator Bowl, <laughs> Gator football. Ugh. Who won the 1985 you Gator Bowl? Want to know in 85? Majormelons.com. I guess somebody <laughs> wants to. Get, My favorite to is when people actually type in a URL into the search. It's like, why don't you just type the URL? straight in instead of you're searching for that URL Galveston police live scanner all right somebody wants to listen straight in on that wow. caribou Maine Jenna Bush nude <laughs> just popped up pregnant celebrities Jenna Bush nude Jenna Bush nude this guy's really searching <laughs> wow that is something it really does give you kind of a feel for what people are looking for moving ceiling fan <laughs> Why do I get the exciting ones over here? I love when but people think... The Lyrics to Mary's testimony. Ugh. Go ahead. Sorry, Leslie. I love it. People think the Internet has every answer to humanity. Like, it's yeah. this great machine that you type in, what is the meaning of life? Yeah. Give me an answer. Someone really wants to see pictures of pop belly pigs. <laughs> but they're just saying pop. High bird pressure? <laughs> I think the guy fucked up. Do I have high bird pressure? <laughs> Funeral practices, followed by Katrina t Katrina timeline. Gilmore Girls adult fan. Sam Sosa, S-A-M-M. -M. Jesus. That's something. Funeral practices. Who's Jill Renig Renninger? This is kind of creepy. Marie cool Boozer. At the same time. Facts about Japan. Detailed map of Austin, Texas. 607 <laughs> phone numbers now. Like the full phone number? Yeah. I've, I, I've actually seen that before. People just type in phone numbers. Um, All right. That's pretty cool, What man. are you searching for if you just type in a phone number? You know, actually on Google, you can type somebody's phone number in, and it'll do a reverse lookup and show their address and a map to their house. Oh, that's Gay crazy. male sex clips just came I up. Ask that question. <laughs> sexy nude Allison. Lexington, sexy Ooh, nude Allison. Uh, Allison, nude. Haunted house plans. Uh, haunted house plans. There's some kind of architectural site. <laughs> Over yeah. here's where you put the ghost and the head that pops out. Here's the death room. <laughs> it's got to be close to the uh, latrine. Holy of holies. Urine odor. <laughs> Urine odor, in quotation marks. What is romance? Have you guys checked out Google Earth yet, where you can type in an address and it zooms yeah. in? Oh, yeah. Satellite photos. Oh, yeah, that's that's beyond cool. creepy. That man. is beyond creepy. 
Let's see. Uh, yeah, it keeps going. Dude, I was doing research for this project, and I looked at my notes from the Technofile from 1998 when I went to Comdex, which was then the biggest technology convention. Wow, in the world. 98. And there was a. I was looking through my notes. The big announcement was an MP3 player that holds 16 songs. 16 songs in 98? That was, was the a big uh, deal. Can I interrupt? Yeah. Penis art just popped up. <laughs> Penis art? Penis yeah. art. <laughs> This is what people are searching for right now as we do this radio show. And the other... Uh, Don't be fooled by the mask. <laughs> what does that mean? The other thing that I, I saw that was notable in 1998 was uh, how to back up your hard drive on VHS tape. Get <laughs> out of here. Wow, you didn't think 98 was that long ago. On VHS tape. I'm sure that's a yeah, real Be sure to back up your hard to... drive on something that lasts for about eight months. <laughs> that can be taped over if someone wants to see a TV show <laughs> by accident. We got uh, Fox News with the bus uh, crash audio here. Could it happen here? Really fast, and then we'll get back to Laszlo. Good morning, John. I'm speaking to you now just from the uh, outside of the port of Houston. This is an area susceptible to flooding, but it now appears that uh, Rita has already claimed some of her first victims. Those 24 what? elderly patients you mentioned were being evacuated from a nursing them. home in a Houston suburb, the suburb of Bel Air. This is a suburb that in the past uh, had been flooded during a tropical storm. This time they did not want to take any chances, and on board this bus were some 43 elderly people. Suddenly, about 17 miles southeast of Dallas, the bus on which they were riding erupted into flames. According to officials, it appears that the fire was started by some type of a mechanical problem, possibly a brake failure, but uh, fueling the fire, it is now believed, the oxygen tanks that many of the elderly had oh, with them. You were right. Oh, yeah, yeah, nailed you it. You were right, Opie. Oh, my God. You know, that fire must have been like a kiln with oxygen in there. Smell of old people. Oh, somebody <laughs> probably lit a cigarette. They wow, what are the quick. odds of that? I need my luckies. Wow. Tanks that many of the elderly had with them. There were the sounds of explosions. The bus driver repeatedly entered the bus and did the best job that he could to try and save Fuck his it. passengers. <laughs> but as you mentioned, uh, it now appears that at least, this according to one of the wire services, 24 wow. elderly passengers aboard that bus died in that fire. That bus... Uh, was or is now in the process of being removed from where the uh, uh, explosions took place on I-45, and that's important because I-45 is uh, one of the main evacuation routes. It has already been gridlocked, and the uh, fire this morning only complicated that process. Yeah, you don't need rubbernecking at that point. Wow. You don't need to be horrified by seeing that on the side of the road. A fire in a bus with oxygen thrown in. That must have Oof. been massive. I'm sure it was a quick mm. death, at least. Probably melted the bus. Yeah, that would be really, really hot, that fire. Wow. Eh, not the elderly. <laughs> not the elderly. I don't want to say it, but you know, it's better than a school bus full of kids or something. Yeah. At least they lived their life. All right. Just trying to get out. You know damn well they would have been fine at the home they were at. You know they would have been fine. Everyone panicked because... What happened in New Orleans, they found like 30 elderly people drown in some uh, uh, old folks' home because it was you know, below sea level. These guys, they probably would have been absolutely fine. But get them out, get the elderly out, and the, there you go. They're, they're going to get sued, so uh, we've got to get them out. Yeah. <laughs> they now, died anyway. He's going to get sued anyway. A brake problem probably caused the fire. Isn't that crazy? We watch a plane friggin' land with its tires sideways. Everyone walks out fine. A fucking bus Stupid has a brake. problem with its brake. Don't break. Everyone burst into flames. Movie trailer time? Movie trailer time. Lazo, you started something new, man. I was going to say, man, I tuned in the next crazy. Tuned in the next day. I was like, holy shit, these guys turn these around quick. Someone's searching for come on her face. That <laughs> <laughs> just popped up. I'm just leaving this scrolling and pointing out a few. It's hours of entertainment. It's like right in between beauty work supply and... And Katrina's economic effects <laughs> is come on her face. <laughs> she runs the gamut, doesn't it? <laughs> Just keep uh, telling Look, us which ones are popping up, Ant. Great place we, uh, we're we at. We played yours a lot, Laszlo. One of the better ones that came in is from our own Danny. Danny came up with this Opie and Anthony movie trailer. And then we got Ooh. new ones today. High above the earth. It's got to be a joke. The virus is spreading. Usually it doesn't go away. The Opie and Anthony radio program. What were you...
you expecting? I don't know. I really don't know. Experience the hijinks. Since when is ass fucking called hijinks? Experience the mind-blowing conversation. Could you smell this and tell me if I'm sick? <laughs> hey, good news, though. It's not green anymore. From Herky Jerky Productions. From the minds that gave you the silent game. Yes, that's been very funny. <laughs> Open and Anthony. It's no one small step for man. Let's just put it that way. I dare you to laugh. The show has been rated GA for Gettys. <laughs> That's one of uh, the ones we like, and it's from our own Danny. Here's another fun three. Yeah. 1910 through 1920 funeral glossary. Tyra, Bank topless, Tyra Banks topless. Big tits. And the final revelation of the Koran. <laughs> <laughs> Are you kidding? <laughs> All just in that order. That is, that's going to be my favorite website when I go home. Backdoor adult uh, uh, triple X passwords. See, now I thought there would be most, like, 80% would be just looking up porn. Yeah, but it's uncommon saltwater fishes just pops up there. What did, happened? Uh, did anybody catch uh, the Jim Norton sucking tranny cock that just no, flew by on the screen? Oh, I'm sure our own listeners are That's announced. why I didn't announce what website this was. Oh, they're clever. Because I, I knew it would either get shut down quick or they would start putting shit in there. Uh, photographed snorting cocaine. Discount China and download kid pics. You ever see that Pets.com picture after Pets.com went out? They had a picture of the 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 sock uh, little puppets puppet. doing coke in a club. <laughs> I love that shot. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Water pollution and Madonna. I'm getting the boring ones. Shaq oh. O'Neal born. Rate my body. Funny Christmas skit. <laughs> Someone looking for a funny Christmas skit? Is that it? Planning ahead? Holidays are coming up? Production to put on? They're putting MySpace.com in the search engine. <laughs> Jesus. I swear to God. Re relaxing fragrances. Do you do that MySpace thing? Somebody sent me an invite yesterday. I do it. Do you? Yeah. What's in your space? What do you mean what's in it? I don't know. What's, what's your, what's your what space? What is MySpace? MySpace? Like... I, I, I've heard about it, but I haven't uh, experienced it yet. I avoid all that shit, because I get all these emails, like, join Friendster, and then somebody emails me and says that there's somebody on Friendster who says he's Laszlo, and it's the real Laszlo, and I'm like, I can't even get involved in <laughs> battling these dumbasses. Uh, Isn't that great to have to try to convince people, no, I'm the real, <laughs> right. I'm Anthony. And then they, I get those invites from Plaxo or whatever, hey, I'm updating my address book. I'm like, since when is it my job to update your fucking address book, dude? <laughs> <laughs> You've obviously got my email, that's enough. <laughs> that's so true. What's MySpace, though? Like, what, it's like, they just, I don't know what I use it for. I mean, it's basically a, a place where you can uh, get laid. <laughs> Believe it or not, I mean, really? Yeah, is it like you Craigslist. Do is, yeah, you just look at the photos that people have up there. Mm -hmm. Like you just look for a girl who's got like a hoary kind of picture, but not like professionally hoary. Right. Like there was like a photo shoot. Just, just kind of like some lonely girl in her apartment with like a cell phone. Uh huh. A little cleavage showing, and then you go. That's those are the ones. Then you talk to them. They'll show you tits online. There, yeah, they'll show you. Yeah. Tits. Wow. wow. How about that? But I don't use it for that. I use it to try to hype the fact that I'm going to be at a. Uh, who gives a fuck comedy club? And <laughs> He's spamming strangers. Hey, you like comedy? Like those guys that stand outside of Penn Station. You like comedy? All right, let's get no, this is the thing, though. I don't, I don't seek out any anybody. I figure anybody wants to get on the thing oh, God, might yeah. want to go to a show because... Mm -hmm. You know what sucks is like 80% of my friends are like other comedians. It's like, dude, you're not showing up. Yeah. You either have a gig you're or you're at your day job. Too many yeah, times. exactly. Yeah. So. Speaking of like online porn, you know the Bush administration is recruiting FBI people for a new <coughs> war on porn. They are uh, assembling an anti obscenity squad. FBI agents for that. Yes. Yeah, because uh -huh. uh, we we th we have everything else pretty much sealed up. Was everything that's really important. Job like posting going up on a train or something. That's what? actually harder to uh, to win than the war on terror. I think. Yeah. The war on porn. <laughs> war on porn. That is an Running impossible. into people's houses. Stop jacking off! You know why? Because yeah. there are some people in the world that don't like terror. That is, <laughs> <laughs> like, it, you fight the war on porn, that is a losing battle. Yeah. Bush will be like, people that masturbate hate freedom. Yeah. Pat, ba 
What's his, uh, was it, Stalker Patty? Still yeah. learning the names. She'll be like the Condoleezza Rice. <laughs> <laughs> I don't it's like it. It's very bad. It's racy. <laughs> it's bad and it makes me uncomfortable if I have to see it. <laughs> you heard her, people. Uncomfortable. We don't like being uncomfortable. So those two aren't together? It didn't go well? Because I heard I didn't. I heard he said fuck you or something at the end it of that. Ah, they like, fuck you, bitch. You know something, Laszlo? Yeah. Is a rebroadcast later. Give it a listen. <laughs> I don't want to hash it over again. That's an hour long. Yeah. All right, movie trailers. Frightening and to listen you, to the first time. Can you rehash 18 minutes ago? No. You can't rehash. That's the beauty of the replay. It's just an extension of the hash itself. <laughs> if you missed, what, Anthony Kumia naked pics. <laughs> <laughs> That's funny, you fuckers. That just came up? Yeah, from the other room. What did it say? I think the other room is uh, fucking around now. Anthony Kumia naked pics. On this search spy thing. A lot of gay male stripper things coming up now. Gay male pictures. <laughs> By the way, if you missed any part of today's show, it rebroadcasts at 3 p.m. on the East Coast. Movie trailers that Laszlo started. The listeners are uh, sending them in every day now. We got four to, to, to play today for everybody, okay? First one is by Carmine from the Bronx. I wonder if it's the same Carmine. I'm sure it is. That you tried to ban earlier. Let's take a listen and see how good or bad this is. Never ride on your friends. And always keep your mouth shut. Fuck you! As far back as I can remember, I always wanted to be a pet battle. Hey, Mom! Going outside to play Monster, right? I know I... By the time John, grew up... John is noticing he's growing hair in areas we didn't have hair before. Believe me, we try to steal every bit of it. What do you do? I'm a construction. We not Jewish. Mazel tov. <laughs> Most of the guys killing... All right. Uh, moving on. We have another one. It doesn't even wow. make any sense. It... None. Somebody with Tourette's put that together. It made none Fuck. sense. What the hell was that? I told Steve to get the best ones, too, so. Clips from uh, Goodfellas. Just chopped up and not chopped put in any up sort with of clips order. from the show. Not making any sense let's, at all. Let's try this one. It's the ONA trailer, movie trailer by Pete. is praising Infinity Broadcasting for canceling the Opie and Anthony show. Yesterday, two so-called radio shock jocks were fired for orchestrating luck, an bro. obscene stunt in New York's most famous Catholic cathedral. What the heck are you guys doing? Trying to ruin my life? Make me look like a freaking idiot? Opie and Anthony were yanked off the air a couple of years ago, but Pat Collins tells us they are back and better than ever. Uh-oh, we're in it again. Can I just say fuck? Yeah! The duo is signed on with XM Satellite Radio. Okay, Sweet. look. If you're planning a road trip this people, weekend... People don't understand the concept of a movie trailer, is what it is. Remember when we asked for jingles and people sent in this, what we just heard? We don't the have same to... Thing. They don't understand are, what a movie trailer we is. We have to explain what a movie trailer yes, is? Yes, apparently we have to explain it. We have to play 8,000 examples. What was that? <laughs> wow, Steve's got to know, because I said I told Steve... I told Steve to give us the best ones today, and uh -huh. Steve uh, has written a communique. What does it say, uh, Steve? Uh, it says, if I had to give you the best ones, there wouldn't be any to give. <laughs> oh, my God. Yeah, movie trailer is supposed to make you want to see the movie. Right. Yeah. <laughs> Let's just start with this. It's supposed to have the announcer. It's a movie trailer. I started thinking about doing my laundry. For yeah. Yeah, you start, to, you, they, you start playing these, and your, my, my mind goes off somewhere else. Everyone should start with... In a world, <laughs> and there should be some Start exciting, there. yeah, some exciting Start music, dr dramatic music. It should be dynamic. It should have a high and a low in it. You know, kind of conveying the story. In a world, and or get some in yeah. a time. Get some guy with a deep voice, or mm -hmm. if you're Steve, just pitch your voice down. Pitch it down. Oh, that was a little dig at Steve. Oh, oh where's Steve? Is he gonna take that? <laughs> All right, let's listen to the rest of this. Maybe it gets better. If you're planning a road trip this weekend, it's time to take XM Satellite Radio <laughs> along for the ride. XM gives you 100% commercial-free music. It's the ultimate playlist with channels for album rock, alternative, heavy metal, hip-hop, unsigned bands, blues, jazz. Beyond AM, beyond FM, it's XM Satellite right. Radio. Fucking idiot. <sighs> so what do you think? <laughs> Pretty cool, I guess. This is pretty much the worst video ever made. Napoleon, like anyone can even know that. This is horrible. All right, I'll stop it there. It's awful. 
I was, it uh, doesn't fit the format. It's a bad promo. Steve, you pitch your voice down and make it sound deeper. Okay, uh, yeah. In those movie trailer bits that I do, yeah. Just so they don't sound like every other promo. Oh my God. That Blackberry is going through the fucking window. That's not my Blackberry. See, what I just it? cheated. I have a friend who actually does voiceovers for a living and has yeah. a badass deep voice. It's not cheating. It's doing production the right way. How is that cheating? No, it's you not. do production. You have a guy that has the deep voice come in and do it. Ooh, you're out there. You're outrageous. <laughs> <laughs> Crazy person. I love Steve's voice. On I'm trying promo. to defend Steve. Ramon. Exactly. Suck my oh. dick. <laughs> All right, let's try another one. The Virus Trailer by Screech and Philly. Is this All one right. good, Steve? Be a trailer, for God's no. sake. No? No. <laughs> Look at Steve. Yeah. Disgusted. No. Is this bit almost no. over already? We were hoping to like ride oh. this thing for two weeks. Well, you can look at the bus with the uh, blue tarp over Old People's Park. Look at how it melted. Oh, wow. There's nothing left of that bus but uh, the frame. That's what you want to see as you evacuate. Big blue tarp. Holy oh, crap. That blue, that, that blackberry is out of control. Ooh, community case really coming is. in. Eric Logan? Let's see. Who is it? Ben. Ben? Why could he just come in here? Ben Sparks. <laughs> ah, I thought. <laughs> is it about a guest? Uh, uh, Quinn obviously. to replace Stern on 106.7. DCR TV's rumor du jour. Colin Quinn to mornings on WJFK FM after Howard Stern leaves for Sirius. We report, you decide. Huh. That's the rumor, huh? All right, let's try this trailer from Screech and Philly. So far, so good. For an entire generation, people have experienced the virus the only way possible on commercial radio. But if you've only heard it this way, you haven't heard it at all. Finally, show the entire family can enjoy. I think that you picture his jiggly big Italian cock in his pants while he's laughing. <laughs> With action scenes that rival John Woo. Oh, Bernie, Bernie, sit down. Sit down. Oh, my God. He's really mad. <laughs> With all new creature effects. If you find a rabbit jerking off, please call me. <laughs> Two little paws. Yeah, they don't even have thumbs. Come back. To remember the special times. No, but you know what happens when you get dumped? You end up looking back at old photos oh, no. of the two of you together, and you're trying to see it in her eyes. Like, is she thinking it right there? They're back. Holy shit, are you kidding me? Opie. I have flaws like everyone else, and man, I do my best to hide them. Anthony. An A320 is a variation of an A300. Fuck dick. Little Jimmy. And my friend and I, I don't even remember his name, would play uh. this game where it would be, we would pretend that it was raining monster rain and we would go under a porch and blow each other. And Ray Romano. Oh, <laughs> it's hot. The virus, the way it was meant to be heard. And remember, colors use your own water fountain. How would you, how would you like to go out with me tonight? I would like Pony to. and my mule. Okay. Yes. Hey, do you take it up the ass? Make the call. <laughs> Dude, I have to make judgment calls every fucking day. Tell the joke. What do you call a black guy that's uh, smoking a cigarette? You call him nigger-team. <laughs> what? That's what's in a cigarette, nigger-team. The virus is spreading. Are you ready? I'm fascinated with pervs. i got to tell you. Well, who is it, Opie? It, that is so sociopathic, I almost don't know how to respond to it. The virus, coming soon. Not bad. bad. All right, bad. bad. It wasn't All bad, right. Steve. What were you talking about? That wasn't Steve. that bad. Did, did you hear any kind of context, though, in those, in those drafts? No, there the really kind of... wasn't a storyline yeah, to follow, but... That's he, kind of what you're looking for in a movie trailer. You're looking for some kind of story to be presented. But it wasn't presented. bad. Sorry. The only uh, uh, problem I had with it is he took yesterday's show and made a movie trailer out of it. Yeah. yeah. He did have some older clips you in see, there. The last thing he wants to do is be holding a microphone. I know. He's, he, he wants to put it down. He wants well, out no, of here. The thing is giving me directions. He's going like, no, like he's, he's waving his hand in front of me. He's doing this. It's just, I, I, I can't hear myself. I was just hoping you'd hold it closer to your face so everybody could hear you. Oh. 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 What does that mean? Thank you. Oh, I, I love the nowhere. fact that Bill Burr has pointed out something that none of us have noticed in the first year broadcasting here at XM Satellite Radio. What, did I get fidgety every time I'm near a microphone? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. His, his eyes closed for like half the sentence. Yeah, and they yeah come he's back. right. I don't know what it is. Look it's some kind of it. not even thinking about it. Did it, it yeah, again. Did it again. It's totally subconscious. <laughs> and there it is again. <laughs> I'm not intentionally doing it, but it happens. I get near a mic and I just start trying to, to hold it. Yeah, there you go. There you go. Trying to hold his eyes open. You stop blinking. You just close them. 
trying yeah. to see the thought in your yeah. brain. I want to see him and Big A in the studio at the same time. Steve's blinking. Big A's tapping out something. Mm. He looks like his little brother, doesn't he? Oh, <laughs> oh. kind of has his shit together. Oh. That, was, that, was, that was horribly oh. uncalled for. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Oh, you know, the last I'm time I antagonized to... somebody three times my size, I walked away with two black eyes. So <laughs> like to thank Bill Burr for uh, being on the show. <laughs> it's been fun. <laughs> All right, we have one more. Uh, I had a good week, though, you know? <laughs> had a great it week. Good. Right up until you insulted the big bear. <laughs> I had a couple, you know, hype MySpace. <laughs> Mission accomplished. <laughs> <laughs> Jimmy, what's up? Yeah, I was just wondering, um, I couldn't do it, but uh, I was wondering if anybody could put together a soccer patty and uh, Big A's conversation along with the uh, porn she was reading off. Um, some type of, I don't know. Whatever. Maybe an Opie and Anthony trailer for a porno featuring Big A and Stalker Patty? Yeah, and with their conversation that they had today, and see if someone could put together something All like right. that. All right. It's more like a reality show. Not a bad idea. All right. We have next. one more Opie and Anthony movie trailer today. Attack of the Bombs by Jared in Boston. This was the best one that came in overnight, you're saying? Yeah, of all the ones that came in last night, this was the best. It's a beast that will stalk you in the halls of XM Radio comments that at least one person in the studio thought were funny. <laughs> it will take you down with no notice. Damn it, I have a lot of bomb. This holiday season, witness the horror of the attack of the bombs. Starring Anthony Cumia. It took him a while because uh, his hog donated blood for all the victims of the London bombing. <laughs> Nothing? His hog donated blood for all the victims of the London bombing. <laughs> that was a little, little wordy. Bill Burr. I like how quickly you realized you were bombing. I you knew it as, as I was like, saying it. Little Jimmy Norton. That old fucking trick of like when it bombs, you know, we, you turn it to a serious statement quickly. Sure. <laughs> yeah. and I it's never meant it to be a stunt, joke. But I mean, I heard he really worked hard on them. You know. Your pals will step on their balls over and over. <laughs> this is going nowhere. Again and again. I throw a lot of shit out on a daily basis. And you'll laugh and laugh. That is horrid. With that no talent hack rich boss. I'm oh. a 37 rich. 37, wow. Same as your waist size. Uh... Nothing. And just when the horror has uh -huh. stopped. Good old gravy leg. Oh boy. <laughs> Losing me. Yeah. Brings it right back again. Hey, it's Voss. So. Oh, Jesus. I'm out of here. Why? I was like, I, I not wrong with a good birthday bomb. <laughs> oh. There was six seconds of dead air after that line. And then he just goes, ah. Hmm. All right. Three quarters of the way, I was, yeah, I was with him. Then he lost me with the uh, crash sound and the, uh, oh, dear Lord, whatever he says, oh, dear God. There's still controversy on what he's saying there. And, and, and then he kind of brought me back with the Ben thing. Hmm. All right. Well, not um, not too bad. People are working on more, so we'll have more on Monday. The Opie and Anthony movie trailer game. We're gonna pick out the the top five eventually. Uh, uh, a couple of more uh, search things coming up. Fine woodworking patterns. Nice. Cunt. <laughs> <laughs> and Anthony Cumia eats Opie. <laughs> you fucking asshole. <laughs> All right, we're gonna break with Laszlo's Opie and Anthony movie trailer. This is the thing that started it all. Check it out. 2002, darkness covered the land. The Catholic League is praising Infinity Broadcasting for canceling the Opie and Anthony show. And evil reigned supreme. Who, who, Robin? Until one day, they returned, and all hell broke loose. Bullshit! Can you hear me? I'm Jim Norton, and I'm on the radio. Shut up! One Wednesday, I picked up a guy in a dress, and he sucked my dick. You just sit back and watch what happens next. OP. Shut up, shut up. Anthony. Away with you. Away, away. Leave. Leave the fucking studio. Jim Norton. Every one of you is a time-wasting cocky. I will beat children about the head. And the ONA Army. Our fans are a bunch of jackasses. Three men leading an army from the pits of darkness. You are 
shit. You are worthless. We're all losing it. I could give a fuck. Fighting the evil nemesis, poisoning the land. <laughs> You're a fucking, you're just a little scumbag, and I just spit in your fucking face. I'd love to spit in your fucking face. Fuck him! And a battle that almost separated them forever. I'm an actor. You're insane. You don't know how a show works, and then you have these stupid opinions. I understand you're trying to do a radio show. You are not gonna do that, you ass! Aw, don't get all angry and yell. Jim, you're fucking pissing me off. Whatever. Holy shit. What happens when love pushes you over the edge? I gotta feel the tits! Nowhere to run. Who is this idiot on the radio? Nowhere to hide. You're shit out of luck. And no way out. Dance, motherfucker, dance. Yeah, look at my cock. The most anticipated thriller of the year. Give to me the money. I will make for you the like I fuck. Ah, no! Deep Opie and Anthony Show. Rated R for retarded. Yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. Running out of show, guys. Running out of show. How was, um, quickly, I heard uh, Laszlo talking about Master Poe has been approaching you about a video game. Yeah, every time I'm in here, he uh, he asked me to get him into a video game. Because I, I guess he wants to do some knife fighting. Knife fighting in a video game. game. Now that would be cool. Watching Poe. Sends, sends me these huge videos of himself beating people up. Crashes my email server. You hit the square button on the thing and he falls asleep. <laughs> <laughs> How you doing, Paul? You want to be on a video game? You want to be on a video game or something? Talking to Laszlo about... Um... Hey, guys. How are you? Very How good. How you doing? You, uh, you, were, you were on a video game once, though? I heard you did motion capture for... Uh... Yeah, the Crow City of Angels. Crow City of Angels. I played um, Nemo and Large Enemy Number 1, 2, 3, and 4. <laughs> Large <laughs> Enemy <laughs> Number yeah. I guess they didn't have a name at the time, so they called it Large Enemy Number 1, 2, and 3, and 4. And they put, like, the ping pong ball things on you. Oh, yeah. And you do all the moves. Oh, that's pretty cool. Oh, yeah, it was cool. intense. I had to do flips, and, and I, I had to... Uh, Various empty hand techniques, weapons, knives, sticks. Yeah. Throw people around. It was it was a lot of fun. That'd be cool. I'd like to play that. Yeah. These war cry. Only party rock. <laughs> <laughs> the only thing is people is, explode. <laughs> <laughs> the only thing at the time, the uh, the graphics were not as intense as it is today. So it's just yeah. a cube moving around. That was <laughs> Poe. Yeah. You know, I, looked I like was <laughs> actually around a uh, yellow circle chasing dots. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, the ro- it, it was very robotic. I played Ghost number one, two, three, and four. <laughs> Wait a second, Nemo was one of the lot was one of the main characters. It was. Uh, yeah. In order for you to get through, you have to first get through all the uh, the bad guys. Large enemy number one, two, three, and, and then four. get to like the, and then the you boss. Have to get to Nemo. Did, so did, I was did, one of the bosses. Did you save your best moves for when you were Nemo? Uh, I just mixed it up. They re- they edited it however they wanted to. I-, I wasn't in control of that. Are you good about pulling your punches? Or are you one of those people that actually hits the stuntman in the face? Why, you want to try it? Uh, no, I'm just asking a <laughs> I'm Jesus. Came I'm Jerry kidding. Springer now. <laughs> what, year, what year was this about? Was it like the 80, Atari 2600? Wow, 84? 84? 84? 84. Uh, 84. Yeah. 84. What kind of... Oh, wait, wait, hold on, hold on. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. 94, 95. Because uh, I, started, I started this for the 94. For <laughs> Ten years in video games, nothing much happens. <laughs> yeah, really. No, no, no. I started... Not much of a slip-up. I started the school... Hups, 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 hups. Body blow. Those games. Body blow. Body blow. Body blow. Body blow. Body blow. Hoops. 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 They all sounded like body blow. It was. It was around ninety five or ninety six. You suddenly yeah. skipped a decade. Yeah, I know. I know. Well, you know. You made a little mistake. Big difference okay. between like Star Raiders and Half Life. <laughs> and it wasn't like eighty four. I mean ninety four. It was like eighty four. I mean ninety seven. <laughs> <laughs> it was around that's that time. cool. Wow, they got video of uh, the rainwater spilling over New Orleans levee into the ninth ward. Oops. Oh my God! Not saw that happening. Yeah, it's uh, it's looking really bad in New Orleans right now. Again, and now they're rewinding the tape live on TV. Just oh look, the water goes back time. when they rewind. <laughs> <laughs> we're <laughs> saving the people. <laughs> Why don't we just do that? <laughs> Superman's <laughs> going backwards. <laughs> All right, we, we're wrapping up the show here. Um, Thank you, uh, Master Poe. For, Thank uh, you guys. Laszlo will do it. Laszlo will hook you up, get you in the game. Okay, Al Pacino, the, the the Scarface poster. How much is that going for right now? That was the biggest item that we added to our Opie and Anthony auction. You get to the auction by going to opianthony.com and clicking on the link. $710. An wow. autographed Scarface Already. poster, Al Pacino. The whole gang signed this damn thing. 
And uh, Joey gave it to us for the auction. Pretty awesome of him. Uh, and it's going for almost $1,000 at this point. It's huge. And it just went up. I think that's going to get, I don't know. I'm guessing five grand easily. Yeah, definitely. Five grand. And there'll be movie collectors that'll want that. Yeah. Not even our listeners. They'll start, like, seeing that on, on there and, and bid on it. Let's say yeah, hi to John. Good. John, what's up? Hey, I learned that Ted Stryker landed the JetBlue airplane. Yes. Very good. Hey, Rob, what did you learn on the show today? Oh, there it is. Rob, I learned today, I learned today that Big A likes the Paris wheel. <laughs> yes, he does. <laughs> I like the, the Paris, Paris wheel. wheel. All right. Very nice. What else do we have today? I want to thank Bill Burr for sitting in. He did a great job. Yeah, thanks for having me, I guess. You'll be here next week? Yes, I will. Oh, we might even uh, get you a little money for this. Wow. Oh, oh now hey, you're going to start hey. the speculation again on the message board. Do you hear that? First, they were speculating that. Remember, we were talking about hockey. It's be a roll of quarters sitting on the desk here when right. I show up on Monday. Remember, we were talking about hockey, and then we were like, easy on the hockey, right. Bill. And everybody, we kind of moved on. They were speculating that XM got mad at us for talking about hockey, and that's why we stopped talking about it. Not that we didn't have anything on it, and we were done going there. But that Bill somehow brought it up, and he wasn't supposed to because he is going to be on the payroll soon. XM's hiring him, and we heard oh, yeah, something big, big about... time contract negotiations yeah, yeah, going on. about there. XM hiring. Hey, Joe, thanks a lot. You coming in tomorrow? Yeah. yeah. Then I get in the elevator and leave. That's the negotiation. <laughs>